Hey guys, and welcome back to another <laughs> Fallout 4 stream. Yes, to get the elephant out of the room, if you watch any of my streams before and you're not new here, that is now my face. Okay, so I had to shave. I'm sorry. It just had to be a thing I had to do. No, I had to shave. I have to be clean shaven for the next couple of months. And um, after that, hopefully I can grow my beard back to its full glory. So until then, it is what it is. I apologize. Um, welcome to the stream. We're going to make our way to Diamond City today and any adventure along the way, of course, you know, that happens. So almighty, welcome to stream. Barry, uh, Scandalous Scar, Jen, I hope you're doing well. Halber and uh, everybody else who's joining in. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching this video afterwards, I hope you're going to have a good time. Um, Alex Zeppelin, all serious, I hope the delay is not long. No, it's not long. Um, I just had to even out my sideburns. That, that was, I was about to start streaming and realized they were too long. Anyway, um, and they went even, okay? Just don't ever fall for the trap where, um, <laughs> uh, where, you, where you try to balance them. It happened to me before that I tried to balance them and I went up and up and up and up and I ended up literally in my hairline, above my hairline on both sides before I realized what I was doing. Uh, it was a very funny work uh, work week for everybody else in work, not for me though. Um, yeah, it, I look very different. It's actually scary how different I look uh, when I look at myself. It's 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 creepy. Yeah, look look at that chin. Yeah, look at look at those multiple chins. You see, now I can't hide anything anymore. Anyway, so what much changes much. have we made? So John Long is actually assigned to our defense. You know, so I added a couple of more defenses uh, just for funsies, a uh, couple of more things here. I cleaned up every single settlement that we have access to. I went to the cinema castle, I cleaned up everything. I went to Red Rocket, cleaned up everything. So this here all cleaned up completely. I'm messing around with some things that I have in my head for future stuff um, where I'm thinking it would be great to have like kind of a tree house equivalent thing around the tree, like where you have your defenses and maybe some guards, you know, something like that. I don't know how we can achieve that. I'm just messing around with that. And then also somehow connect every single building that we can build on to each other with a walkway into everything. So that way you literally could walk across the whole area through like some kind of pathing to anything where we can build. This rain lets up soon. Um, I don't know if this is going to work out or not, but we'll see. Also, I, did, um, I didn't want to install any mods, but I had to install one, and that is the unofficial patch mod. That is the only one that's running here. So if you look at the mod list, I don't know if that's going to break my game now or not. Um, this is the only thing that's installed because it's, um, it's kind of nearly a requirement, I believe. Um, I nearly forgot about that, actually, in the last two streams because there's some books which apparently can really screw your game safe. So uh, you want to make sure you have that at least. Uh, the, the, my dog, actually, that is really odd. My dog hasn't freaked out. The, the first time I shaved um, a while ago, my dog went ballistic, but she was much younger. And she literally went down like and looked up and barked, barked, you know, until she smelled me and was like, oh, okay. But I suppose now she just smells me and she goes like, yep, yeah, that stank belongs to the old man. So um, no problem there. So I also built the chair for Lady for Mama Murphy. She wanted a chair, so I've done that. I uh, created a little bit more of a farm with all the different things here. So I assigned a second farmer. Mama, Mama Murphy is the second farmer. What else have I done? Yes, I have set up some water purifiers. So water purification, and again, these are all things I completely forgot. They're a bit of a pain in the ass, yeah? So basically making money with water purified water is really good in the beginning. If you want caps to buy some things, you know, other things like stim packs maybe or something, um, or resources, adhesive if you can, I don't know. But these guys generate, I think, 12 purified water each every 24 hours or something, yeah? Every 72 minutes of game time, yeah? However, if you have any purified water or dirty water in your storage, they will jack shit. They will absolutely not create anything. So... That is why I have um, this extra cupboard here where I put all the purified water and the dirty water. And that way, whenever I go into here and uh, check my purified water, if I have any in there, um, you know, it triggers. When it triggers, it will be 24, I think. Yeah, it hasn't triggered yet. So um, when it triggers again, there will be 24 in there and uh, 12 each. And there I just move them into here and that's it. 
Yeah, so dirty water was new to me. I didn't know that because I was kind of sleeping 48 hours and nothing happened. But it's, if you sleep for 24 hours and then play for about 5-10 minutes, it just pops in um, if you have nothing in there, which What's is up? great. Fast travel works as well really good. Like, So if you sleep for 24 hours and fast travel, fast travel, it usually shows up. Um, that's what happened to me anyway. So anyway, so um, you can always make a separate settlement just for water. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, you, you will have the same problem there. I think you just unless you keep it off the network, um, you, you would always have to make sure the water gets taken out or something. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I'm an imposter. That's right. Yeah. So uh, Clifford, welcome to the stream. Uh, Matthew. The Chosen Walt Dweller. The Chosen Walt Rider, what a fitting name. Kenneth, how are you? Um, Tommy, welcome to the stream as well. It can, uh, yeah, I think you can have like, uh, uh, actually even up to 400. If you have uh, 20 industrial purifiers, I think they give 20 each or something. You can have 400 water pop or something like that. But you would, I don't know if you can do that here in this settlement. You would have to have a very specific settlement, but I read on Reddit um, somebody doing like uh, 400 purified water in one pop. Yeah. So anyway, um, before we're going to head off to um, Diamond City, which is the jewel of the Commonwealth, I'm just going to finish the first step. Well, I don't know if it's finished, but we're going to talk to Preston. You know that settlement you sent me to help? The first steps are important. They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help. <laughs> Where's Kicks? Yes. Not much use yet. But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know oh. I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. Nice. But Look I at all that really experience. Told you what happened to us. Oh, do I want to know now? You see, I thought we we're just going to have this polite conversation where you tell me I did a good job and I'm on my way. And now I have to do the polite thing and pretend that I really want to hear what you have to say right now. Uh, okay. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active... I, I'm Minutemen. playing on PC. Yes, I do. Yeah, sorry. And now, well, it's just me. Uh, yeah, one mod gamer. I moved all my water into a cupboard completely separate. So all my purified water and dirty water is in a separate cupboard. And that seems to work in the moment. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turn their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? Oh, I see. Um, why would I start playing Fallout 4 now? Because I wanted to. Um, I can take the mod back out. It's absolutely fine. The unofficial patch, can, I can just uninstall it. I have literally nothing in my inventory that should cause any problems. So I don't have to run it. And if the game file, if the save games become incompatible, then so be it. We were That's done. fine. I just uh, start a new game, play it by myself, or we play something else and get back to where we where we basically were. So it's it's not a big deal. Um, or I get far enough in that, that uh, you know, we can continue the adventure. Like So it's it's, it's not a biggie, I guess. But okay. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm expecting the, the, the. That's why I don't want to use any of the other mods as well. Like so, but we just uninstall the other mod, then that's fine. Um, I have all the DLCs. They get installed by default. Um, Quincy Marcus Massacre. So do have, does he have any more to what tell me about? What was the Quincy it? Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. Oh, sorry. Did he just say that? I wasn't paying attention. Called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. Okay. The people there called for the Minutemen to I think help. we just had that, didn't we? We were the yeah. only ones that came. The we other groups, back, and I only that, a few okay. of us got out alive. We never found a safe place to settle. 
one to seven. Yeah, okay. So I just want to make sure because I was reading chat, so my apologies. Um, don't give as up, As long man. as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking Yeah, but to I'm not too worried about that, Master. It's, it, it, it happens. What happens, happens. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's just a game. Um, what about you? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. Oh, I don't use mods. I don't want to use mods. Um, the only reason I use the patch mod is uh, because I think you've it kind of needs to be, to be in in the moment. Okay, sure, yes. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Yes, Good. I think we have two level ups, Welcome which is very forward. important now. So, I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. All right, quite the promotion. That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Miniman has always helped. Oh no! Me. Thanks for letting me know. Chosen Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in '82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Miniman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. Oh, maybe it's on I'll the way to the minute map. to the we'll Diamond find City. Out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. Okay, that actually sounds like a good idea. So anything that's along the way. So let me see. We have um, Watts Electronics, Corvega, Lexington. Yeah, I mean it's on the way. We definitely want to check out this store here. That's definitely something I want to check out. Um, we're gonna head over to the assembly plant, then we're gonna head over here, then we're gonna run down here, and then we're gonna go to Diamond City. So that's the plan. That's the plan anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, like I said, I never played this game really through, so hopefully story-wise, I mean, if it's only, uh, I don't know what the update is. I haven't actually heard of the update uh, uh, until the second stream we did that evening where somebody talked about the update. So I just didn't know about it either. So it's, I mean, when you when you have Fallout 4 in your library and you click play game, it doesn't tell you, hey, there's an update in nine days. I, and I don't read everything. So yeah, I wouldn't, I, I didn't know about that anyway. So it doesn't matter. It is what it is. So we can get experience from food crafting. That is correct. Yes, um, I actually harvest every time all the melons, all the mute fruit, all that for adhesive anyway, all the corn, everything so that we can make um, Oh, hello. You, you're really getting in there, Marcy. Um, also, we now can... Okay, here's something. I'm an idiot and you can laugh at me and make fun of me. I don't care. I have played Fallout 4. It was it is so long ago that I played Fallout 4 that I forgot. I was like, oh, okay, this is all we have. And I accidentally went like this. And I was like, holy shit, there's so much more. I genuinely thought that this was all the... <laughs> was all the things and then then i read somewhere about uh, the the settlement leader oh yeah that's under the charisma tree i'm like where there's nothing there and i didn't realize it's all the way down there so we need local leader one so we need charisma six we have two points which is really important because we can put one point here to get that charisma point i think and then one point into here hopefully for local leader and i think that now allows us to create supply lines which I never did before. Yeah, yeah. So, so what we're going to do is we uninstall the unofficial patch. And uh, that shouldn't break my game. It just means that uh, hopefully we're not playing anything during that time, you know, that will that has a major bug in it or something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not just me who forgets things. I actually had to look up how to learn lockpicking because of the last time. Okay. Yeah, to get the shops, you need local leader too. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, I already tried building them and I saw that. But I now somehow can... How do I assign now somebody to be the guy that goes between settlements? So we have... How many people do we have now? settlement? Five. We have two farmers. 
one. Do I count in the in those five? I don't think so because I have. Um, he's assigned us to to defense. We have Mama Murphy and Marcy as farmers. And there's the and then we have obviously, uh, Price and Princeton. What's his name? Preston. There's somebody missing. There's one more person. I think we have. Because that's one, two, three, four. So where's number five? Where is number five? There's one more dude here somewhere. And I want him to be my... Whatever that's called. Oh, you have to build a radio beacon. You can't have anyone uh, um, of these named NPCs be the caravan. Oh, okay. So, because I, yeah, I don't fully understand how this works yet. So, um, I don't think, I don't know if I did that originally either. So, let me see structures. Um, structures, warehouse, barn, scaffolding, boxcars, doors, fences. Would it be miscellaneous? Totem, 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 totem. Bus, bus, trailer, trailer. Okay, the beacon, would that be under electricity, maybe? Um, Kona, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. Um, is this the new update? No, it's not, Joel. It's uh, Apparently, there's an update in nine days, which I did not uh, know or remember. Um, let me see. Here, that's the power miscellaneous. Um, hang on. Requirement radio beacon attracts new settlers to your settlement. Oh that but that's for new settlers So that's not something I need for the caravan do I? Oh If you place the bell, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. electrical and a power miss not yet update is coming up on the 25th. So I suppose we can just Put this one right over here because we're not going to be building much over here anyway. Um, it does need power, I think, does it? Yeah. Okay, it will be blocked. So okay, okay, okay. Let me get somewhere. Get them. Okay, hang on a second. Power. Power generator. These ones give three each. This one gives five. Let's just put one more big boy here. I can move things around later. So let's just put this guy here. And there you go. And now what can I do with that? Oh, it is on. It is on. Okay. So, but I thought local leader one allows us now to assign someone to the workstation or something, or have all these things shared between workstations. So how does this work now? If I have, um, where's the weapons? I like the way that bobby pins keep showing up here every now and then. That's probably because we assigned um, one of the guys to scrap so let me see, if I go to weapons, yeah, the reason I don't see the fat man here is because that's in the other place. Yes, exactly, supply line. That's what I want to do. So I don't need more settlers for supply line because I can assign, I have a spare person. Like this guy here is just doing junk in the moment. So I can actually use him but how do I do it? Do I assign him to the workbench? How do I do the supply line thing? Oh, is it this? No. Oh, you need a nameless settler for it. Ah, I see what you're saying. So there's something I don't have yet. Okay, fair enough.
Yeah, you see available options, yeah. So Q is the option to talk to them uh, wherever he just went over there. So Q says command. Well, Q, oh, Q supply line. Okay, I get it, I get it. So if I say, can you just go here? Can How can I cancel your current command actually? Um, So you can't actually unassign someone. You can only reassign them. Okay. Fair enough. You can fix just about anything. Guns, computers, people. You'll go up to the to okay, let me see. You go up to, and there will be a button in the workbench mode that will let you set a supply line. Yeah, okay, make sure to build more beds. Yes, I need more beds, yeah. It's great out for named MC. Okay, I get it, I get it. So we're going to come back here. We're going to go and make our way to um, Hello, our Diamond City cities through the awkward run runarounds, and we're just going to add another bed here quickly. Um... Might as well put a spare one here. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna make all this beautiful at some point, so uh, I'm not really wanting to spend too much time in that. So, oh yeah. So now we have eight beds. Oh, we have seven people. Somebody already joined? What the hell? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to make that bell. I'm gonna have to see who joined. And where they are. They're probably at the entrance or something, or they're just on their way. Is there anybody walking here? No. Also, I upgraded my weapons. Um, I upgraded my marksman now, which is very sexy. And we have our 10 millimeter. We have our pistol, which is the reflex scope. So we definitely got a new joiner. Yeah, so let's do the bell actually. So if we can do the bell, then we should see who they are. So let me see um, the bell that would be under, I actually don't know. Yes, I had to shave hidden. I'm sorry, I had to, I had no choice. Um, Where is the bell here? It's defenses, really? It could be. No. Also, the amount of settlers that we can have is dependent on your charisma level. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. Anybody who just joined. I said it in the beginning of the stream, but anybody who just joined, I'm sorry. Um, this is store, so the bell is not here. Uh, resources and misc. Okay, let me just check. Resources and uh, miscellaneous. Okay, so we have the garden plots, scavenging station, and here's the bell. Excellent. What is that? A siren? Ooh, alerts nearby settlers to danger when triggered. Okay, so I think right now they should all gather. This is everything goes here, I guess. So they should all gather here in the middle of the street. There. Yeah. Okay, come on, peeps. I need to see who's new because apparently we have seven people now. Oh, you are new. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> yes, you're new. So now, grown man feeling sorry for himself. Huh. Let me see. A Q supply line. Oh yes. 
And I want to basically, I think we have a real opportunity to build something nice in the Starlight Drive-In, either a big farm or a big settlement for settlers or something. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. But I think the Starlight Drive-In is where I want everything connected to. Now, I'm assuming I can have multiple supply lines. So how, there we go. So does that mean I can immediately see see what's in the workbench or do they have to kind of carry things to and fro? Because I should be able to see the Fatma now, which was the weapon I have in that place. You see, I can't see the Fatma here. So how does this work now? Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just go to sleep first and uh, make sure we can go. So we have no resources left here. Let me make sure I have everything empty. Uh, T, yeah, great. Okay. And it's going to take us about three and a half hours to travel. So we're going to get up at four. Okay, so can I see on the map where I have my supply lines? No, it doesn't say. Stay sharp. Because I do have the Fatman as a weapon in the other in the other place. It's not showing up. Hmm, interesting. Oh, it won't connect. I visually press C. What? Oh, sorry. Press C, C, C. Not in there. Don't okay. let your guard down. What's up? Map and C. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, I should read these more often. I, I, for some reason, I never looked down there. So that is brilliant. So we have the supply line here. Great. I don't think we've met yet. I uh, the to the you can have as much settler as you like, regardless of charisma, so, just only robots instead of settlers. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's also new. Trade? I just want to trade a few things. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Um, well, I'm going to take your bottle cups. <laughs> Let me see. Um, I take all your ammunition, though. That's for sure. Do they need ammunition to defend themselves? Well, maybe one. So we leave one in there. Oh, sorry. It's uh, this one. I leave one in the inventory just in case we get attacked and they actually need one in the inventory. And I take that. Thank you. You don't need that. Awesome. Did we get any purified water? Because I want to take it out before we leave so we can get more. Yes, there we go. 25. Awesome. So by default, you get, I think, is it four water or five water baseline or three? I don't know. Three, four, five baseline. And then you get one extra purified water per eat. settler. It's as simple as that. So it might actually need that we get five in total by default now without purifier stations. And these purifiers only give us 10 each. That would explain why I got 25. Yes. So, okay. So we're going to put it all in here. Except... Um, Let's sure. Let's take six with us. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's go. We have to travel down here. I'm gonna go back to the settlement stuff uh, later. So let's head over here, and that will take about three and a half, four hours, and then we're gonna walk from there over to that special electric store, which is uh, the flyer that we got from one of the robots. So they use the ammo in the inventory as in down to a letter, or you only need one? Oh, yeah, but they got infinite ammo, you just need one. Great. That's basically like Skyrim and all that. Like, So that, that's brilliant. I think Skyrim works the same way. So these guys, they might have respawned. Yes, they did. Okay, actually, let's test out our sniper while we're here. Oh, wow, I missed. Oh, is that the range? So they're too far away then, I guess. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, I love this. This is a great gun. That is awesome. I'm loving this gun. This is sweet. So some have respawned, but not all of them. That's actually pretty cool. Shotgun shells. Um, yeah, I might take the weapons and then we can scrap them. I don't know. There's no point actually taking weapons, really, I think. Where's the other guy? Oh, I walked right past them. They're there. Yeah, I don't think there's point taking, actually, the pistols. Okay, so where we want to go now is we want to go uh, down here. Excellent. How are we doing on the shotgun? Make sure we're fully loaded. I would love to put a drum magazine or something on a shotgun. Yeah, we already have the location for the military frequency, I believe. Uh, there was the police station where they wanted... I think the police station, is that not where we get um, they get to meet the paladin or something? Unless I'm mixing up my games. Let me just make sure the scene is clean. Oh, what do we have down there? That's not the red rocket, is it? Is that the red rocket? No, it's not, but it looks like the red rocket. And um, also, let's save. Oh, it's tr tr crashing on the PS5. I'm so sorry, man. It's a Brotherhood stat, yeah. There are multiple red rockets. It makes sense if it's a restaurant kind of slash a gas station chain. Oh, we have some action over there. Ghouls, is it? Yeah, as long as they're not coming for me, I'm okay. So I'm just now... For, for, I started episode 5, I think, of um, Fallout now. Man, I'm loving it. I I'm, I, I don't know if it's like stick, st st strictly true to the whole uh, Fallout lore and everything with the Brotherhood of Steel, but what I really like about it is that... So one of my favorite actors, uh, uh, fr not from the acting abilities necessarily, but from the characters they played, was back in the days Harrison Ford. If you watch things like Patriot Games or uh, The Fugitive, what I really liked about him as the hero was he was really relatable as an average person. And he just became tougher and tougher throughout the movie. By the end, he was just an absolute hard ass. Yeah, Like he didn't get super strong or something, but he literally was like, fuck this shit. Uh, that is enough. Yeah. And I think this is so really well done when they when they do that in movies because it shows you the growth of the character and everything. And with fall, with Rings of Power, this doesn't exist. Yeah, they're just everybody is just amazing. But um, with uh, Fallout, the main character is actually that quirky self, you know, who's like a bit too naive, believes a lot of things, likes to see the good in people, and she grows as a person. And it's really nice when you see finally the way she switches a little bit in certain scenarios. And it's very believable done where you think, yeah, that makes sense. At this stage, I would have had enough, you know? And uh, I really like that because it makes her a very likable character. And I can't believe it's made actually by the same people. Like, well, not the same people, but by the same studio like Amazon. Um, that does that bloody shite like the Ring of Power. But... <sighs> That is great. Oh, why do I can why can I hold now five bullets? Oh, I didn't know that. 
I actually genuinely thought it was just two. Um, oh, there's another one. Okay, he might be coming around. We'll see. Okay, great. I think we dealt with that appropriately. Duct tape, very nice. Okay, let's not be too blind. Let's make sure there's nothing else here. Disarm the trap. There we go. Nice. Oh, <laughs> how are you doing? Unzip. <laughs> no, that would be terrible. I'm sorry. I have really bad humor. I'm a terrible person. Um, breakfast is served. Um, okay, so let's see what we have here. Silver, absolutely. Uh, take the ammunition. Yes. The story of the show takes place after the events of this game. Uh, yeah, uh, either Brotherhood or Minutemen ending. Um, and since the show is canon, it changes the real ending of this game now. I think two endings would make sense. Continuity, okay. Don't need a pencil, we're fine. Glow side hair trigger pipe pistol? Sure, if we can take the clothes. Uh, I don't think we need it, actually. Um, uh, yeah, let's not pick up a lot of pipe stuff because we want better guns and... Okay. Is there anything else in here? Stupid ghoul has a pencil and that was it. Table knife. Can I not get up there? Oh. Doggy, don't do that. I thought you were behind me. And then all of a sudden you're beside me. And then, okay, I can't, I know I can't get up there. Hang on a second. Oh, you can't actually stand on that mirror. Fair enough. We're gonna find a different way up. Bottle cap, tin can. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, but that is, it happens to be probably exactly at the place where we need to be. If you get the scrapper perk, pipe weapons become a stable source of screws. Oh, nice. Yeah, so let me see. Uh, scrapper perk. Where's the scrapper perk? Um, now that I know we can go down here more. Uh, your nimble fingers allow to pick advanced locks. Yeah, I so want to do that as well. There's so many things I want. Uh, we definitely need scientist. There was something I wanted to craft and it needed scientist. I think it was for the weapon as well. Strong back. Yes, yeah, strong back is really good. I need that as well. Oh, there's so many things I want. So where would the scrapper be? Is the scrapper, 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 better criticals? This one. No, that's the gun nut. Intelligence. Oh, okay. Sorry. Intelligence is here. That's a gun nut. Hacker. Scrapper. Waste not, want not. You can salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminum, copper when scrapping weapons and armor. You can salvage rare components like circular nuclear materials and fiber optics when scrapping weapons and armor. Yeah, I think this is, this is something we're just going to have to max out, I think, regardless what you play. That is just... For the loot whore like me, that's an absolute must, I think. And is there a way to scrap on the go? <laughs> Besides finding a workbench? 
Okay, let's not get involved too much here. What, where I don't want to get involved in a firefight here. So let's just stay out of sight. Oh, I'm detected? No. Oh, shit. Give me one second, my dog is going bonkers downstairs. Yeah, sorry, it's just fine. It's just she's at the window like a cat with her ass up in the air and looking underneath the, the blinds outside in the dark. And she says, Oh, there's a person walking past. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, she's like, you know, protecting the house apparently until somebody actually comes in. And then she would be like, Okay, that wasn't part of the agreement here. I missed two shots with the shotgun. That's how bad I am. Hey, that was a hit. Man, I'm terrible. There's one more. I should have just left him alone. There's one more dude here somewhere. Oh, nice one. Pencil pusher. Ooh, gold watch, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's let's stop getting involved and getting ourselves into trouble. Also, I want to know what's up there. How do we get up there? Get out here. How do I get up there? I want to. Ah, come on. You know you can jump there. Oh, we can't jump on top of that. How do I get up there? I want to get up there. I have to do it from over there, probably, then. Okay, that sucks, don't you? Ah! <laughs> ah! Whoa! Okay, doggy, that was on you. <laughs> uh, besides, I think I already did the free ones thing already, so they probably won't allow it again. Um... Okay, why can I not jump when I'm on a car? So, there we go. Thank you. Hmm, not sure what I get from that. Let me see. Hmm. 
I have so much marked. I don't think I need steel. I have so much steel, so I'm okay for steel in the moment. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, shit. Comfort Crip Hair Trigger Pistol Pipe. I could sell that. Ooh, that might be better than what we have. Okay, what I currently have equipped is... That's a left arm. So on the left arm we have 5.5, five, but we could get 7.3. No, I like 5.5 five more than 7.3. Muzzled powerful pissed pipe pistol. Oh, it has a muzzle on it. That's great because I might be able to take that off and put it on my weapon. That would be great. I really have to get better with my aim. Oh, blood packs, nice. You can craft stim packs with that. Okay. okay, let's ignore all that. Let's actually heal up a little bit and eat something as well so we. This is the shop. Is that it? The electric store? We're in it, aren't we? Oh, we're not. That's College Square. What the hell? We're nowhere near the damn thing. For some reason, that one. Oh, yeah, I went to the wrong marker. God damn it. Never mind, sense of directions. Um, it was cooking snack in the cost. <laughs> I can't believe I went to the wrong shop. I was looking at the wrong marker. Don't tell me all the shooting is. Okay, I don't want to get involved. Either one could be right or wrong. Let's see what's going on. Please, you gotta help me. This guy's a synth, and he's gonna kill me and replace me and my family. Oh God. They look the same. Oh shit! What am I gonna do? He's the synth, and he wants to replace me. Please, please, you gotta believe me. You can't let that thing do this. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. I had to shave, UK. Sorry. Look, this guy knows I'm a synth. 
So just help me take care of him, all right? Otherwise, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. So he's the synth. Yeah, the synth are not good guys as far as I'm concerned. But I don't know that at this stage yet, so... <laughs> Dakota, yeah. I don't want to kill anybody because I don't think it's any of my business in a way, so... Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead! He's never gonna stop! I have to kill him! Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. No, I know you put the gun down. Look, all I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. No, no, he'll kill us both! How exactly did this happen? How this, uh, fine. I, I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy, me, gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's a, it's a blur. We scuffled for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you he's the synth. Now, are you gonna get out of my way? Take you down myself. I don't understand that option. Look, all I can need I do that is again? for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. No, no, he'll kill us both. Fine. You know what? Just kill him. What? No! It's done. I, uh, I need to get out of here. <clears throat> God, I'm still shaking. Why the hell would the Institute want to replace me? I don't know, Art, but um, he was the synth, so he's not really a real person, so that's okay. I have been replaced, yeah, a synth can't grow beards, that's correct. Okay, is this... Oh, is this... Is this going to be a workbench station? That would be great. Can I go in here so I don't have to jump through the window? Okay, so what I want to see is I want to see if I can take the muzzle of these guns here. Oh, no, this is muzzled. Yeah, sorry. So this is the one I built. But then we have a muzzled pistol. So I want to take the muzzle off to no muzzle. And that means I should be able now to go to my pistol. Actually, can I do it on the 10 millimeter pistol or is it? Um, no, it has to be a pipe pistol, I think. So if we go to the pipe pistol that is mine, which is, oof, if I can find it, this one, I can now go here and put the muzzle brake on. It shouldn't cost me any resources though. Yeah, exactly. It says a touch mode, not built. There we go. Very good. That's brilliant. So we lost a little bit of range, but that's fine. Because if we can keep it quiet, you know, just a couple of nicely placed headshots, then that's all good. So we have the reflex, uh, reflex side. So what I would love to be able to do is actually put a... Oh, can we like, can we not put, can we not increase the ammo slot on this? That would be so sweet. Glow sight is always appreciated. Actually, let me see if I can put a glow sight anywhere. So let me take the glow sight off here somewhere. So let's scrap this. Scrap this. And... Where is the glow side one? I thought I picked up a glow side weapon. I do about the same damage here. Nah, it doesn't matter. Oh, this one is 23. Ooh. Why is this 23? Powerful receiver, is that why? So if I take this one here and I turn to a powerful receiver, 
That w yeah, okay, so we take the powerful receiver off the other one then. Uh, pow pow powerful pistol. So if we go here and put a standard receiver on it, then we should be able to take our pistol and put the powerful receiver on it. There we go. Nice. And we have our damage increased. I love playing around with this. Short ported barrel. Does it make it stronger? Short ported barrel. Let me see what would be the change. Long barrel. Oh, it would actually just reduce the range, but... And the weight, I guess. Um... Yeah, you can also scrap unused weapon mods, I think. Yeah, you're right. Um, I think so. Uh, anyway, let's scrap this one. The double barrel shotgun, 47. There is nothing in here that would be better than my current shotgun, I think. Hardened double barrel shotgun, yeah, which is... Yeah, so there's nothing here. So we're going to pick up weapons where we think we can take off a mod... Which obviously makes a lot of sense then. And so hang on, is there so is this a building place as well? Oh, that's not even the place yet where we have to go. Oh my god, we're still not there. Okay. in here keep getting sidetracked but that's okay oh look at that fragmine found pressing Q non-stop okay we're nearly there Wow, is that a working car? No, no. It looked very clean. Okay, I don't trust this place, so let's just calm your ham and see what's here. Sorry, what happened? He missed the roof loot. Oh, no. I missed the roof loot. I'm sorry. Um, I tried to look at chat more. Um, it's just very difficult sometimes because I'm, I'm trying to not miss anything. Like, um, And then I miss things. So now we're here. So that means we should be able to now use this as a fast travel point in future. Well, we can use this as well, College Square, and then we can travel down there. So that's really good. So let me see what's here. Is it the roof root is it roof loot on the red rocket, is it? Oh, it's an instance. Oh, nice. When do instances reset? Like, you know the way we can go back to the Covega factory and, and redo that as well for obviously loot and stuff, yeah. So Okay, you wanted us to jump down here. How come we can't get back up there? That looks very synth. That I was just about to say that looks very synthy. Okay. I think this is the most important piece to get rid of. Interesting. Yeah. 
Wow. That was a big boom. They look evil, but maybe I can turn them friendly. I don't know. Oh, nice. I didn't pick up any extra armor. Okay. Oh, hang on. Um... What resources do you need to make it something else? Let me see. Oh shit, that looks, ooh. Cloth and leather. So we need armor rank one, yeah. Okay, so we need to unlock that as well. There's ev I want everything unlocked. Really? Also, what do we get from the dead body here? Nice. Is there anything down here before we walk around over to the other side? Okay, let's go into this room first. Dramatic. Total hack. Hell yeah. You collected an issue of total hack includes a pro pro protector on hacking source code. Protection override program. Okay. <laughs> Activate demo mode. What is that? Okay. Service status. Offline. Note from management. I don't understand what's so hard about this. All I'm asking you to do is turn off the military protocols on the robot. We got last night, so we can put them on demo mode in the store. How hard could that be? You know computers. Are you too busy reading comics and playing games? Grow up and be a team player, Mr. Felix. Oh, no. Somebody's in trouble. Um, exit. Thank you. Approach and identify yourself. Okay, All sorry, they said demo mode. Will not be harmed. So we should. Jesus, what is going on? Intruder, identify yourself. I'm starting to get angry. You would not like me when I. Your attempted escape is only making things worse for you. You should be, because I'm going to get up. Warning, I'm going to be area. Crispy McCraggers. Welcome to the party, boys. Are you playing games with me, goddammit? I don't want to burn, so I have to wait for this guy to kind of slow down there. We just saw a note from Kix's boss, yes. I cannot wait to find you so I can kill you as 
Ah, we killed him. We need the resources. Oh, demo is short for demolition. Damn it. I thought it would be demo as in demonstration mode. So harmless. Hmm, that is not very good. Uh, 50%, let's see. Ah, very good. Oh, this robot helped us? Oh, wow. Yes, he can't shoot us through here. Awesome. You better run, you commie loving bastard. You commie loving bastard. I love it. No surrender. Restore contact with the enemy. Awesome. I love it. There we go, nice. Don't think I can pick oh, this. Oh, we can't unlock this yet, yeah. Let's see. Nice. How do we get up there, actually? There. Nice. Ooh, glow sight tuned hunting rifle. Compensator, armor piercing pipe, auto pistol. Jesus Christ. Could you have any more? Uh... Hey. Names on this gun. How you doing, buddy? Anything else left here? Oh, what's that? Tar Tarberry might be something we can farm. I'm not 100% sure. And then we have. Terminal's a... got this locked. Okay. Okay. Shipment is procured and on its way. Leave your payment at the drop-off site in the amount we discussed. Don't let, don't get cheap on me now, Felix. These are some high-grade robotics I'm getting for you. All right, fair enough. Oh, here we can disable the military. No, we leave them on and then we get the resources. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Let's see what we have here. Anything we can pick up here. Locks really hmm. strong. Hmm. 
Okay, that was it, I think. No toilet pistols, yeah. Hey, H, I would like a word with the assistance manager regarding this poor impulse control, yeah. That's correct. I love those little side missions. Like, whatever, they're not side missions like, but, you know, these areas. So, is are we done with this then? Yeah, we cleared it. Very good. Um... So we can fast travel there now. Nice. Okay, how can I remove the marker though? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly fast travel home. Then I'm going to fast travel to College Square. And then we're going to head down there. And then I can also figure out if I can improve my gun even further with some of the upgrades that we have. So if I go to the weapons workbench, like this one here, for example, yeah. Armor piercing pipe, that sounds amazing. So armor piercing receiver, we're just gonna craft a standard receiver or we just put the standard receiver on, yeah. A short barrel is fine. I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. It's still a hole, but it's a Sharpshooter script, yeah, standard grip, sure, crafted. Large magazine, standard magazine. Glow side, standard side. Uh, compensator, no muzzle. I've got something to be Excellent. different for you. Our scouts have found a promising The same with the hunting settlement. rifle, which. Clear it um, out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about is it. Before you know it, action we'll have rifle. A new form yeah, okay, so wasteland. let's. We'll take back the comment. standard receiver. Well, one piece at a time. That's fine. Standard magazine. Glow side, standard side. Okay. Then we can scrap this. Scrap this. Now we can see if we can enhance that with. Oh, I thought we had a calibrated powerful receiver. Oh, calibrated receiver. A calibrated receiver would give it less damage, is it? No. Yeah. Oh, we didn't really get anything here. Oh, there. Marksman. We can build this now, though. Or oh, the sharpshooter grip. more damage yeah let's do that suppressor would be nice on this one but we need a uh, gun nut too that's right okay what about the pistol oh shit no Ugh. I, I turned this into a pistol again didn't I yeah yeah action rifle there we go so, Marksman, that just makes it lighter. And the recoil is better. Yeah, let's do that. This one would be best, obviously, but we need gun nut too. I keep forgetting about that stupid switch between pistol and rifle. Is there anything we can do on this one? So the hardened receiver on this would make... I'm not even using this gun at the moment. 
Yeah, so let's not do much with that one. That's just my backup, I guess. Okay. Taking points. Sunshine Tidings Corp. Clear Sunshine... Where did, where did that quest come from now? Why do we get these random quests? Where did that come from? Taking point. Clear Sunshine Tidings Corp. Minutemen scouts have found a promising site for a new settlement. Oh, is that that whole meme thing about Preston saying, hey, blah, 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 I have a job for you or something like that, is it? Is that what that is all about? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had any crashes yet myself, Jesse. I'm sorry. I I'm really sorry if people have crashes. I didn't have it myself yet, which reminds me I should probably save. Um... And we have so many more people now, I guess. Uh, let me see. We have how many more people? S oh, still seven. Okay. Happiness is going up, which is great. You're not assigned to anything. Can I assign you to just be cute? Because that would be just, you know, that's your job, dog meat, just to be cute. Um, let's actually see if we can upgrade some of that stuff here the leather chest for example um oh that's pretty sweet look at that we can do it girded yes thank you and for that we need more adhesive but we can do padded and pocketed look at that asbestos lining oh man asbestos lining best we can upgrade our pip boy Okay. Uh, the butt rest is always important. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if we got any water. Ammo. Flare. We keep all the ammo on us. Um, that's all the mods I have here. No, it's eight. Yeah, so here we want to go if we have more water. No, didn't come in yet. Okay. Flare gun. Oh, okay. I'm never going to do mailer. I'm just going to leave that here. Razor grain. Can we farm that as well? We have to figure that out. Tar berry we can farm as well. Uh, whiskey. We can't farm whiskey, sadly. Okay, so how much weight do I have on me now? 70. Great. Perfect. Um, is there anything else we need to do here? No. Okay. Yeah, razor. Uh, we need to plant at some point. Uh, we need to plant as well. Yeah. Um, I have everything uh, maxed out though on my farm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here away. Let me actually take the tarberry first, I guess. Oh, I, I can access it from the workstation, can I? I, do I don't have to have it in my inventory. So in this case, ah, god damn it. So in this case, then food and carrot, corn, corn. Guard, melon, multifood, razor grain. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the razor grain here. And then we can remove this into storage. 
And then we have the tar berry as well. Where's the tar berry? So the tar berry is not something we can plant, not yet anyway. Okay. So now this is a uh, part of Mama, the droggy. The droggy should be care take care of that. Hey, where's Mama Murphy? She's supposed to be looking after these. Seriously? Get up. What are you doing? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna ring the bell. Why do I not get a command anymore for her? Oh, you lazy git. You lazy git. You were my other farm girl. Do you know, Preston, I'm going to assign you defense, and I'm going to assign this guy to be the other farmer. There we go. God damn it. Yep, there we go. And Preston, you're going to go defense now. Oh, can I assign you as well? Nice! You can go defense. And then Preston can just do what he does, I guess. And we have another settler here. Which I can create a supply line to... I don't know. Do we need another supply line? I don't think so. Not, a, not right now. So I'm going to send you to... Actually, I'm going to have you scavenge then. There we go. So you're scavenger? Excellent. So just because uh, every now and then they just add bobby pins and crap like that to my workstation, which is great. Okay. So let's save. And let's travel to here. Where's kicks? Yes, trucks. I'm sorry. Uh, I used my disc to load the game and crashed right away at startup. Yeah, I, I don't play uh, on console a lot, so I don't know. Oh, I gave her the chair and now she just sits there. Oh, what a lazy git. So I just have to fill up my liter and a half of uh, best ever. No caffeine, no sugar. Oh, I love this. This one is great. Okay, so now we're gonna have to go this way. So why don't we walk around it actually? I don't wanna walk through the city again. Seems to get me into trouble a lot. So let's walk around it so we don't get ourselves into trouble that much. Oh, what is this? Is this like a lift? Bye! Bye, dog meat! This is awesome. The in-between place. We're not on top. We're not below. We're in-between. Nice. There's probably things I'm missing by not being on top, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm having a lot of fun being in the in-between place. Oh, Jesus! I thought you were downstairs. Mother of balls. Uh, <laughs> yoink. What is this place? Do we have a parachute that we can get? I want to jump down there. Oh, 
Oh, I think this can also become a settlement if I remember correctly, doesn't it? Yeah, we have to get back down there because I think this one here can become a settlement. Is that the place actually I have to go? Ah, yeah. No, I don't. Grey Garden. Yeah. And it's a great farm. Let's listen to the frequency here for a second. Oh, okay, let's go back up here. Automated message repeating. Oh, that's the one from the police station. Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. I think. Authorization arcs, Pharaoh, 9 5. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, but I remember being able to, to use this farm and they were friendly. Yeah, they're, they're not bad. And is there not a girl or something here? Well, either way we can we can use the farm. So Was there not a woman or a dude here or something that we can talk to? Oh, yes. And Malone's. This whole farm here is, a, is how many adhesives? There has to be a couple of adhesives here. Okay. Brown. Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Yeah, sure. Um, how much? What are you offering exactly? It's two cap. Okay, why don't you just run away mid conversation? Ready to hand over those mute fruits? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll take those caps now. Seeing that I got them all from you. Two caps apiece. Awesome. Thank you. Very good. They don't have an issue with me stealing, um, stealing their fruit and selling it to them. So there we go. That was an easy 28 cup. Yeah, you have to talk to the white robot. That's right. Yeah. Hey, Tr uh, Trippy, how are you? Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. <laughs> I knew it was a female voice. I thought it was a woman, though. Hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. So, <laughs> am I the only one that gets slightly turned on by this female robot voice? <laughs> There's not even one person here? That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see... There are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making, a testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Dr. Edward Gray. Uh, Trippy, did you see that guy that played Fallout and killed every single NPC that he came across? No, I have no. I can't imagine it breaks the game. Assaultrons are the sexiest. <laughs> um, what happened to what him? What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions rivaled only by his love of television. 
Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Unique personalities. Why Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities? Genius is restless, darling. It abhors stagnation. Dr. Gray was tired of the standard Mr. Handy personality. He looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration. And we are the result. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? The water? Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What's in it for me? Trust me, darling. I can make it worth your while. Most of all, water <laughs> whoa, comes whoa, from whoa, your whoa, whoa. plant. South <laughs> I mean, look at all my appendages. <laughs> Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Why is she saying it so weird? <laughs> Where's Green? That's the mute fruits. That's the way. Where's Green? Is that Green? No, that's Mr. Handy. Where's Green? I like Dogme just like going zoom, zoom, zoom. He zooms left to right every now and then. Not a care in the world. You're green. If you're looking to trade, then let's make a deal. <laughs> green. At Grey Garden, the price is always right. Shall we make a deal? What's for what sale? If you act now, you can choose from one of these fabulous prizes. <laughs> All the arms and ammunition you can get your hands on, plus medical supplies and general goods. It's a bonanza! <laughs> um, sure. Clearly a game show host. Okay, so let me see. Um, definitely always all the ammunition. That's for sure. Flamer fuel. Okay. Oh, these shipments are very expensive. Pipe submachine gun? What? Anyway, let's see what I have that I can sell you. The wedding ring actually comes in at 96, but we're never going to sell that. Um, no, that's fine. I just buy. Mm. No, don't cancel the trade. How do I um accept? Okay, let's head down there on the way to Diamond City. Um, also make a save. So 
So this is the other common place we have to go to, which is um, where we're going to get a new settlement, I guess. It's a brewery. Do we want to go into the brewery? Nah, let's see, we can just get it on the map. Okay. It's another instance, I guess. Um, so we're going to go there later. I just wanted to get it on the map. Nice. Oh, I thought we could farm that, uh, gather that, sorry. Wait for the trade in Dime City. Yeah, I think we can buy stim packs and stuff like that in adhesive as well. So why did we have to go to the station again? Raider troubles, okay. time I had clean fingernails. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Excuse me. Did the Minutemen send you? Yes, they did. Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three. Oh, don't show me that there's a screenshot made, you base. silly thing. It's in my screenshot now that you told me there's a screenshot. So what else? Kill the raiders in Backstreet Apparel. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see first what's here. Yeah, I don't want to steal anything. Um, oh, yes. We're not allied to the settlement yet. Okay, dog meat. It's time to kill. Oh, what's that in there? Oh, somebody got crushed here. What a, what a shadam. Yes, actually, that's Diamond City as well, I think, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting closer to Diamond City. What's on the boat? Yes. What you find, dog meat? Well, I was going to go across there anyway. I just don't. Shit. Okay. Oh, wow. Big fish. And that's it. Nothing special. Uh. See, I thought this was solid. Okay. 
Okay, we're heading over to the apparel store. Getting involved. Okay. They got Valheimed. <laughs> um, I don't think there's Corp in Fallout 4. Sorry, Alejandro, the beard has gone. The beard has disappeared. Disappeared. Oh, I think this is also a possible settlement, isn't it? The person who wins hides. <laughs> I think we can walk around it from here. Let's make sure we have everything. Oof, that was good. I like it. That was that was nice. That was a nice little clean, clear. I like that we got like two, three guys at the same time. There you go. And now we can make this a workshop. This is awesome. So you see, you can start uh, scrapping all that stuff here now as well. Nice. But we're not going to do this. We're going to loot instead and then see what we have left. Okay, weapons crafting bench. My pistol. There was three guys here that burned. Where's the other ones? There's an upstairs as well. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to stay here. I just remember that. Um... Ooh, hang on. So the chess piece. So we have 
a girded leather chest piece, 715. And this is 12.5. Yeah, I don't want to lose that much. Ported hardened, hardened pipe pistol. Nah. Good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, what do we actually have in here for transfer? Circuitry, gears. Yeah. Yes. Tuning hunting rifle. Pocketed hardened rate. Okay, let me see. Left arm. Left arm 4-4. Four, four. And my left arm is... Left arm is 5-5. Five, five. Why does it say plus if clearly my left arm... Oh, sorry. I was looking at the, le at the, at the left leg. So why don't you... Okay, fine. We're going to take this and going to equip it. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, so I like to have them all unlocked because uh, it's obviously handy to fast travel there as well. And um, maybe at some point we can create settlement two. We can get the settlement two upgrade as well mod, you know. But uh, I, I, I'm not gonna play anything modded um, until I finish the game. I, I, I hope we can finish the game because I have never actually finished the story. I kind of know the story, to be honest, um, but I just have never experienced it. Okay, so let's save. Nearly there. I I don't know. But I think at some point we're gonna see mutants, and they're tough as balls. Oh, Trinity Star Signal, what is that about? Help or Mayday or whatever it is one Oh, is that is that the tower with the My with the mutant all the way at the top of the tower? Man. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm setting this to repeat. Oh shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help or yeah, that's that actually gives us a, a that was unexpected. Thank you. All right, that's it. Give it a save. And away we go. Uh, the green is Diamond City, so is the Grey Garden Quest. Yeah, we're gonna...
Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we got. How is he still alive? Well, not anymore. Oh shit. I don't like that sound. <laughs> okay, um, I really want more carry weight in my life. We require strength six, though. That's two more levels in strength. Yeah, if we get scrap, can we get scrapper? No, we can't. We need int five. Do I not have int five already? Oh, we only have three. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, whew. Let's do 20. Let's do... I don't have automatic weapons, yeah, but where's the rifle stuff? Keep your distance long and your kill count high. Attacks with non-automatic rifles do 20% more damage. Right, let's take that. That way we do a little bit more damage. It's okay. I'm not wasting a stim pack on you, dude, but you, you gotta be fine. Let's make sure we don't have any short-range attack here. Okay. There we go. Yes. You feel that? It's called fear. Is there anything else that wasn't here that I missed? Let me see. No. Nope. Yeah, sure, I know, but. There's nothing else in here. Let me make very sure. Can't scrap the plastic dolls, no. Seven days. What the hell? That little bitch Where did that shot come from? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, it was a trap. I see. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. When you turn up, you're dead. Ah! Look at this. Oh, too funny. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. You're down there. How do I get to you down there? So show your face. Come on. I dare you. Is it here? Yeah. Fucking hide. That was clutch indeed. That was nice. Should have just run. Ooh, cr cushioned butt rest raider leg. I like what I'm seeing. It's a six six. Very nice. A cushioned hardened raider right leg. So I have five five, and you have six six. Well, I'm going to take that. Thank you. That's the right arm. Oh, crap. No, thank you. Um, right arm. 5511. Five, one, one. 
Not even a competition. It's called shooting straight, rookie. Oh, terminal. This is beyond me. Oh, crap. Go and take care of those guys. <laughs> yum yum deviled eggs. You'll run out of bullets at some point. Love the reload in AP mode. It's like, hold on a minute. Just need to reload. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's like, ba ba ba. Hang on. <laughs> it actually is exactly looks like that. Absolutely. Perfect. Oh, good old Pilsner. Nice. Ah, oh, master. No way I can pick this. Impact, nice. There we go. Beautiful. Got it. Nice. Oh, the blue bar for critical shot when using VATS is full for the next bad guys. Oh, it actually stays full. That is awesome. Oh, there was a magazine on the table. Yeah, we're going to go back down there in a second. So um, I will look at it again. So I have something for you, okay? Oh, don't be sad. It's 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 good. You like it, okay? Because you need some variety in life. Where is he? Oh, you can only carry one. Oh, look at that! I actually gave you loads of stuff as well to carry the other the other day. Holy crap! Oof. Oh, wow. Yes, that... Oh, wow. <laughs> I completely forgot about all this. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> wow, I'm so sorry. There you go. Um, you probably should take all these back. So next time we're home... Um, yeah, I'm going to give you this back. This, this is crazy. Um... Yeah, we have to go back. So that's really good about the critical hit. I didn't realize that. I saw the bar, but I thought it just meant that if, if the person is not dead yet at that stage, that's then when, you know, you do that special button to do a critical hit or something like that. Because I think there was an option under the blue bar as well. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% damage. Ah, oh, it's a pity I'm not doing melee. I'm kind of a bit of a pussy when it comes to melee still at this stage. Um, actually, can we get out and just fast travel then? Because this is cleared and we have to go back to here to tell them that we were successful. And oh, what's that? Oh yeah, that's just a shortcut. So let's go out here because we can't fast travel if we're inside an instance, but when we're outside, we can fast travel. Critical Banker is one of my go-to perks. Now I'm curious what that is about. Why do you give me more perks? I already have perk, uh, what you call it? Um, 
You know, I, I can't make a decision anymore on perks. Um, I'm assuming that's under perception, is it? Something maybe? Oh, sniper. Penetrator. Concentrated fire. Solar power intimidation. Nerd rage. <laughs> Gun foo, I love it. It's under luck, is it? Ricochet. Ricochet. What goes around comes around. Enemies' range attack will sometimes ricochet it back and instantly kill them. <laughs> that is so funny. Each hit in Vats has a chance of filling your critical meter. Um, each hit in Vats now has an even better chance. Uh, each hit in Vats now has a very good chance. Each has an excellent chance of filling critical hit meter. Grim Reaper Sprint. Death becomes you. Any kill in Vats has a 15% to restore all action points. Oh my god. Critical Banker. You're a patient battlefield tactician and can save a critical hit to be used in VATS when you need it most. You can save two, three critical hits when you need most. Banking critical hits are a chance to save an additional critical. Oh my god. So you can have up to five critical hits in total because you get the additional one from here. So you can, at this point, you have the additional one, which would be four, and then here means we have five. That is crazy. And then better criticals on top of it. Advanced training for enhanced combat effect. Critical hits to fifth. Wow, you could probably one shot big boys, big mutants in that case. That is actually a really awesome uh, uh, perk. So if you go low intelligence, like zero intelligence, and then go for the full dumb build here, you know? What, what is it? Three times, five times. Yeah, Random receive bonus XP from any action. May trigger three times XP for all kills for a short period of time. The lower you integrate, greater the chance. That is actually really awesome. There's no time to waste. Your action points regenerate 25% faster. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Sorry, we needed to fast travel back to here. Can we? Oh, we... Oh, there, yeah. That is a really cool one. Out here, you gotta take things one I day at a time. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's Good worth choice. giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. I agree. Oh, nice. I love it. Okay, let's head home. And, oh, Sunshine Tidings Co-op. Check that out as well at some point. But um, let's go home, Sanctuary. Talk to Preston. Get all the inventory cleared from the dog, because I completely forgot about that. So come here, doggy. Hey, I'm afraid I'm not much use in a fight anymore, but back in the day, folks used to call me. You keep all the teddy bears, Are though. You sure that's Murphy worth taking with us? Okay, there we go. Um, General? You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? Oh yeah, we need to equip that. So, hang on, I'm gonna actually keep all the armor and weapons that I want to scrap um, in here so that we can um, wait until we have the scrapper and then we can scrap them all. So in the meantime, I just put them all in here. 
So I will keep in, I will keep picking up weapons as long as I can. And then eventually we're gonna scrap them all. Um Oh, purified water. Did we get any in the meantime while we were gone? Um. Yes. What's the devil egg actually? Um. Okay. Okay, good. Let's talk to Preston. Yeah. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. Uh, Jalives, how are you? Um, it's been great, great watching you today on the stream. Uh, I have to go. Have a good evening. Thank you so much for popping in, though. And um, have a good evening you know to you as well. That need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Excellent. Good experience. I love that. Uh, keep some frags. Oh, yeah, you're right. We can bounce them off corners. That's actually really good. I didn't think of that. Um, so I, 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 don't want, I didn't want to have two kind of thrower builds. Uh, that's why I kind of took that. But you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, um, how heavy are they? I should be all right. Even if I take them all, I should be fine. Yeah, it's only seven. Like So, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Oh, now, I st I have the route, the trade route between them, but how come I still can't see the stuff from, um... Like, where's the fat man? The fat man isn't here. Yeah? And I thought... Sorry, explain to me again. So we have a trade route, yeah? Between Sanctuary and Starlight Drive-In. So all the workshop items should be connected. So... I have a fat man in the weapons locker there. But how come I can't see that one in my here? So are you saying the workbenches are only connected for junk items? Zangraf, how are you? Um, yeah, I looked at Fallout 76. I actually was going to start playing that as well uh, just to see. It's only for materials. Okay, that makes sense. So in that case, I'm going to pick up all my other stuff. Because I cleaned everything out here, as you can see. And um, can we get rid of the radiated water somehow? Because it's a bit of a pain in the ass that it's right there in the middle. Um, so, ah, okay. So I can see all the junk items. So I get the apparel. I get the fat man then. And that's it. Okay, great. And I cleared everything out there in the back. I found the secret door and the secret room and everything. Um, I cleared all that out. And this is something where we could build like a huge area like for a worker camp or something. Maybe a huge farm. I don't know. I have no idea what to do with that starlight one. Um, but we definitely could use that for something, you know, useful. Um, I did scrap all the toxic barrels. So does that mean it should have gotten rid of the radiation now? Um, but the water is still radioactive, isn't it? So if I step into the water, I still get uh, radio, po radio, radio poison, radioactive poison. Can it wait? So in this case, we want to get rid of the apparel and we want to get rid of the fat man. And we keep the flare gun. Okay, good. 
If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. The whole place is run by robots. Yeah, I already wear it, Grey Garden, actually. Oh, nice. Seems to be growing well. Razor grain, everything is ready. That is nice. Everything ready to be harvested. We're gonna put that into our inventory. I'm sorry. Work I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. There we go. Nice. The carrots I can I think we can put into traps. Uh, unless it was a mod. I remember that we could craft traps to trap monsters or something. But again, I don't really f remember. There we go. Uh, melon, multi fruit. It would be nice to have a separate food slot here. Um, razor grain. Okay, potatoes. Good. So let's actually see can we cook anything? We can make baked bloat fly. Rat resist 20. That is awesome. Yeah, make that. Death claw steak. Plus one agility for one hour and cures 185 HP. Nice. Let's definitely make that. Krilled roaches. Awesome. Iguana on a stick. Mole rat chunks. Plus five AP for 15 minutes. That is nice. Mud chops. Rat scorpion. Plus 25 energy resist. Ribeye steak. Roasted. Wow, that is crazy. All these different foods I didn't even realize we could do. Um, soups. Anything. Plus 2% squirrel. Ooh, dirty water and squirrel bits. Vegetable starch. Nice. This gives us adhesive. That's why we need the corn. So we need three corn, three mood fruit, purified water, and three potatoes. So we should have um, at some point... Uh, well, we have the farm over at um, the other guys with loads of potatoes and mood fruit and some corn. So we could... Um, Yeah, okay. Very good. And the chem bench, if we have some adhesive, I think. Oh, sorry, that wasn't it. We can make stim packs, I think. Stim packs, yes. There we go. Oh, Molotov cocktails. Very nice. I suppose we could always sell a lot of um, Psycho Jets or Psycho Buffs. They're valuable. They're 70 value. So we could sell them. 75 actually here for Buff Tuts and Buff Jet. So cutting fluid is basically converting all this into oil, is it? Caltrops. Okay. Anyway. Yes. I actually keep all that food on me. Well, I don't need 15 mole rat steaks, so I think we're going to leave... What, two or three? Yeah, we can eat all that. So let's actually leave some stim packs behind. There you go. All right. Excellent. Let's save. And now we can travel down here to get to Diamond City. Oh, hang on a second. What is that? Oh, we cleared that. Yeah.
cages. Yeah, you can craft cages and you can put like a carrot in or something. Yeah, so I can't wait for the update, actually. I don't know what the update is. I'm going to have to read up about it. So hopefully it will be safe game compatible. Um, and it will only be a performance update and graphical update, but I have no idea. I have to look at any information they released on that. Or is it actually um, an update update, as in it's like a DLC update? Where are you? You're barking. What did you find? Where are you? Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. So we're going to head down to Diamond City now. Just this direction. So let's get through here. Yeah, I always cook everything. It makes sense. Yeah, they're adding a few Creation Club things. Yeah, I don't really use Creation Club. I mean, what is there in Creation Club? Let me just uh, save here for a second, yeah? So if we go out here, what I like, what's the point of getting Creation Club? Beside mods, like, yeah? So is, is that something we get on the main menu? Let me see. Let me go to the main menu here. So if all it is, it's performance and a Creation Quest, yeah? So if I go to Creation Club, Yeah, skins I don't really care too much about, to be honest. Uh, weapons, not really. That is stuff that I actually would probably spend money on. Anything to do with building, definitely. But, so... Oh man, don't, don't, I shouldn't have looked. Aww. Aww. <sighs> anyway, gameplay, picket fences, uh, give you, so Sentinels control. So they add a quest here, is it? So you can get so very similar just through mods. Exactly, yeah. Give them a look first before spending money. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't buy this. Like, yeah, I'm just saying I'm a sucker for anything like that, though. Workshop items and all that, yeah. So when Mosta, when Mosta, Mosta, I think it was earlier, was saying like, oh, you know, why are you playing now? You save game, compatibility, blah, blah, blah. If all they're really doing is performance and all that and uh, extra quests, it, then it should be game safe compatible. Settlement ambush kit is really good though. Yeah, I would have a look through them. Like, I don't mind buying certain things. Like, yeah, I, I don't have an issue with that, especially if it's like something that I will use a lot, you know? And um, I don't have an issue with that, you know? But as long as it's always going to be there and it's guaranteed to be always compatible, you know, with, with all the versions of the game. We have to go this way. Oh, oh, okay. You hang in there. Nice. 
Someone there. Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh shit! Shit. Okay, let me think, let me think. Let me get some distance on you. One down. Okay, another one down. Oh, Jesus, it's my dog. Shoot you right in the big penis. Sure, I hit him. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, let me eat this. Yeah, 
Wow, okay, these guys are tough. Um, let's see, where's all the bodies? Rat scorpion meat. Bottle cups. Oh, nice. Sure, let's take it all. Oh, laser rifle. Nice. There's the first. Where's the body, though? Did the body fall down? Yeah. Okay. We have to go down. From that range, shotgun's useless. Yeah, it's. I kind of was um, panicking a bit. Dog me found an enemy. Where? Okay, I don't know where you are, dog meat, so I'm sorry. Hopefully, it was just a cockroach or something. Get the loot from this guy. There we go. Nice. And this guy. Fusion cells. Lovely. So, let me see these guns. These laser guns. What's the first laser weapon we found? Um, laser rifle. 32 damage. That is really nice. And can we hold it down? No, okay. Okay, Diamond City it is. Open the gate. Oh, Piper! I forgot about Stop her. Playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting <laughs> Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? She's the reporter or something, isn't it? Yeah, I love her. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <laughs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I live here. <sighs> it turns you on, not gonna lie. You want into Diamond City, right? I, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, yes, I, I had to clean up. Um, I'm going to be like this for anybody who joined. I'm going to be like this um, for the next, um, or anybody who joined, who usually watches me. The beard will come back in a couple of months. I have to keep it off for a few months. Speak um, up, I couldn't hear you. What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? No, What's it's that? rain. It's not you covered in blood. It's a red jacket. It was rain. From Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. 
better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You mean the bluff that you created? This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. <laughs> a big got wall, out of here. some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. Mm. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. <laughs> this really business. isn't any of my business. Oh, I... Didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker hear. Her voice actor otherwise. is great. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, Piper's voice actor is brilliant. What are you two arguing about anyway? <laughs> Not on my business. What are you two arguing about? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... <laughs> <clears throat> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Oh, don't listen to her. <laughs> She's, she does not I'm waste a second having a dig. She's, every case she, her name should be Snipe. Confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine. A Good old Valentine. Who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons? I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Genie Mac. Danny, you got played. You got played, Danny. Biohazard, Genie Mark, that's another game. Uh, oh no, Bioshock, I'm thinking of Bioshock. <laughs> Biohazard crossover. That's another game I, I never really played, Bioshock. I want to play whatever the most recent one is. Are they working on a new Bioshock? That would be sweet. Okay, so here we go. Diamond City. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell. Well, she friend. must go out. Do yourself a you favor and just say yes. That's <laughs> all he understands. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, just say yes. Oh, the noodle soup. Yeah, that actually is good healing. 
the noodle soup. That's right. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap, Apple. Do you see how expensive that is? Wow. Nothing. Hmm. I think laser rifles are the best against synth, isn't it? Diamond City Surplus! Open 24 hours! Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. He has the same voice as the one at home. Um, you sell you what? Sell Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality arts. <laughs> Wheat with dirty water. Over. It's coca noodles. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Yeah, I'm not taking the companions with me, Edward, because I took the perk to get benefits from not having a companion. But I still can take a companion. Obviously, it doesn't block me from it. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here you are. Right, look at that. Nice. All Good chest, though. Yeah, I'm working on the hunting rifle. Um, yeah, let me not buy or sell anything right now. <laughs> let me see. Oh, that's the thing that actually is playing the music, is it? Okay. All right, let's go and meet meet our target, Mr. Valentine. Yeah, minigun ammo. I could sell that. Yeah, because I don't think I will be using the minigun a lot. Hello? Anybody home? The synthetic truth. The synthetic truth. Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's power noodles has supplied the sustenance for the past 15 years from the stilted mechanical cadence of Takashi's program Japanese to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl to the ceiling tongue of each delicious mouthful. Um, ordering eating noodles was one shared human experience, or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night, just around, just after 5 p.m., enjoying a dinner. I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own mayor, McDonald's sli si sidle? sidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing. Yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening, 2029, as they sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takashi and the noodles. So what is she on about? Um, hang on. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he facilitated the shared human experience of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That's until the tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, uh, had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti-ghoul <laughs> Decree of 2020 82. But there's one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening, respected matriarch Anson Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. I was there, all right, sitting right at the bar, sure, as you're sitting in front of me now, 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall we all were. So, what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. 
Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth, and Mr. Carter, he, well, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful until it wasn't. Uh, and uh, Eustace continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face all in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching kind of funny. And I remember watching him clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam. He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter f killed Henry as casually as if, I, if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What he is describing, of course, is the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadow, shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknown to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved the androids into true synthetic humans. Since, after he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people, too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running. He, they opened fire on Mr. Carter. He kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and he lay there like a dead crazy man. Sure enough, God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them. Early since, you see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew the Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned. A hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek and was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by the organization whose intentions and motives were and still are a complete mystery. Using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones in the Institute has in service today. That is crazy. Which brings us to noodles. How? Specifically the noodles consumed by Mayor Donahue last Wednesday night in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing experience, people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race. They were wrong. Are we? Wow. Um, Flip Cannon, you have such good English for secondary language. Oh, thank you. Um, appreciate that. So she's trying to, to prove the incident. But why is the mayor so pissed off? Because, I mean, surely you have public uh, fear or panic or whatever. But in the end of the day, Unless the mayor is a synth himself, what does he care? Oh, that is the article actually I just read, I guess. Um, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, reader complaints file. Honor the wall, happy story for shame. <laughs> happy story, ask a newspaper to write a happy story, are you kidding? Yeah, that's never going to happen. That's why I stopped reading the news. I mean, we over here have RTE. You just go to the RTE website, like, and the first things you find is, like, death and who killed that and what's going on with the war. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Just, you know, no, no thank you. Um, your eyes and the truth pair amours. Oh, the loves. Uh, teen troubles, desperate diamond city. Yeah, I'm not going to read all this now. Um, but that, yeah, that was interesting. That was actually pretty cool. Piper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. 
What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every 10 feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's in I don't suspect anybody. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. Corny. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway. I did expect I this game to today, you, but right? I'm glad. Uh, Watch your back. Bama Pan, thank you so much Just for the, the super chat. Thank you. Um, what game would you like? Story goes next. What are you what are you into yourself? Story of the century. At least we get experience for all this, which is great. Um hey, sweetie. You're the sister, I guess. Hey, to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. <laughs> You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Wow. Okay. She's like, I'm telling you, it's the truth. Okay, I believe you. Nah. It's like, if you say I don't believe it, it's nah. <laughs> I'm your brother. Put the gun down. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! What the fuck? Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey, look at that! You shut his clothes off. Clothes off. How'd you do that? It's pretty awesome. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Yeah, and then he fell over naked. Your brother's dead. He would have killed you. I'm. I'm not a synth. I. I told him. I. I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I. Uh, I need a minute. I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? 
Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Okay, I think Valentine is somewhere here. It's Valentine. There's a few things we actually have now here, isn't it? Curtain call, investigate radio broadcast. No, that's different. Troubled waters, investigate the water treatment plant. That's a different one. <laughs> Proceed Cambridge Police Station. That's a different one. Here we go. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. There we go. It's this way. I was completely wrong. Oh, it's actually uh, behind. I enjoy watching you play this uh, through this game. I just remember on your last live stream of this game, you said it would be two or three days before you did another stream of this game. What's with you? Yeah, I was. Uh, uh, jumpsuits, huh? We played uh, in Shrouded, and then I was going to do No Man's Sky, but because they're doing an update and No, no Rest for the Wicked is Sometimes coming out as well, wonder, I think. Does anyone fight on back? The 18th? Institute is it? has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Yeah, um, well, I kind of thought we might as well keep this up. So, No Man's Sky Don't tomorrow, probably, oh, unless a new game comes out or something that I want to cover as a one off stream. And. Um, you read the paper? Uh, then we're gonna go sense. back to Fallout again. Hiding among us. Okay, so I have to go. He's on this side, okay. Can we take all these? We can. I really like that this is literally not a problem that I can take all that stuff. Hey, go there. Go check that out. Good, so now we just need a lot of corn. Oh, is that corn over there? Well, the paper no. might point their fingers at sins and other ghost stories to drive us apart. We will not betray the sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words. Very carefully. Here we go. Um, Bamaban, thank you so much for becoming G4K Apprentice. Very much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Um, we might try actually Fallout 76 this week just as a one off and just see how we get on. Um, but you see, every video I watch on Fallout 76 is like the moment you get to the world, go find a team, go find a team. Ties. I don't like playing in a team unless it's people. I'm actually talking to on Discord and stuff like that. I, I don't like the idea. The bills. Oh, robot, huh. rock go fun. Excellent. Nice. Okay, that's the game, isn't it? Includes the yeah, exactly. That's that weird game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Bills. Um, something Eddie wrong. Perkins. Another stray coming in from the rain. Latency is terrible in '76. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... Hey, Dominic, how are you? He's gone missing. I'm still around, yes. <laughs> like an old habit. Um... Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. 
And um, Fallout 76, I don't think you can rent your own server because it's. I don't think it's something you can do. There's an old do bolt down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I think they have. Um, you can, yeah, you can have your own private world, but you can't rent your own server. Like the private world, I don't know if the private world is on your computer and you're letting other people access your computer. Or if it's just randomly on a server near you that that you have basically ownership of, I have Are you no idea. Okay, honey? Oh, if you, uh, you uh, okay, if you can run, yeah, I don't know, yeah. So I usually play on public. I don't really care um, if the if it's a server near me. Ask for money. Hey, I'd love to help. But there's the small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. Ugh. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be a hundred caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. Fine. Who's this skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Yeah, that's why I kind of stayed away from this game so much because uh, every time I read up about it, I played it once or twice, but only a little bit. And then, you know, I kind of lost interest because it seems it was just constantly focusing on just, you know, the, the shop and all that. Whenever I heard anything about it on YouTube as well, it was always like all oh, the lunchboxes, the Look, money, I, I blah, blah, blah. Up. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Oh, I have body count at this stage. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. It's amusing. They have so many stories of corporate greed in games while literally practicing it in real life. But that's where they get the, the stories from. You see? <laughs> um, unlikely Valentine. Yeah, so we have to go and try to save Valentine. Is it stealing? Is it stealing when they can't see us? Is it like in Skyrim that when they can't see you, it's okay? I don't know. Ah, Dogmeat looks at me funny. He doesn't like me stealing. All right, all right. I won't steal. It's off we go to good neighbors. We, well, first we're going to go and drop our stuff off. Uh, and drop a like. Bama -ban. Thank you for another super chat. You're very kind. Thank you so much. And anybody else, if you want to support, just drop a like. That's always appreciated. Um, it helps spread uh, the video. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't nothing. <laughs> Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. This is so random. Imagine going into a town and random people walk past you. Don't even talk to me. I didn't see anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> you? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Okay. Why? Because I don't know you. And I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you? Human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what we got. Okay, what do you guys sell? Oh, automatic laser pistols. Sweet. Oof, a sword. Holy crap. If you're into uh, into melee combat, there you go. That's for you. Oh, wow. Compensated armor piercing. <laughs> that is a mouthful. 10 millimeter fragmentation grenade. Calibrated action rifle, is it? I can't really see the rest of the name. Could be a pipe bolt action pistol. Ooh, a maximum hardened sniper uh, pipe sniper rifle. Yeah, mine does a lot more damage though. Yeah, she has some interesting stuff here. What do you have on apparel? A wasteland, a chest piece. Yeah, okay. 
But you have an ammunition, actually. Oh, bobby pins now. We have a lunchbox. Hmm. Anyway, let me see what you have on ammunition. Do you have any cells? Fusion cells? Yes. Hmm. No, you know, I don't want to spend... I'm, I'm a tight ass. I'm not going to spend that money. Okay, so let's go. We have to go to good neighbor here. So we can go to the back street apparel and then walk across. But let's go home first. Uh, she has a combat. I have a shotgun as well, which does a lot of damage. But uh, I'm gonna check her combat shotgun if it has more bullets. It would be nice to get a shotgun that has like five bullets or something. That would be really sweet. Oh, it's the trader here. That moo sounded like a trader. This place is starting to look like a problem. Yay! Oh, there you are. Yeah. Hi. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Threaten. Why would I threaten Let's her? Let's see what you've got. I have a little bit of everything. Ammo. Junk, misc, aid, apparel. Weapons. A rolling pin. All right. Nice. So let's actually see how much uh, of that water we can sell. I'm afraid I'm not much you for the fight anymore. Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Let's see what you've got. I know they're fighting, but I want to make money. Um, so let me go to aid. And then to purified water. How much can I sell? 256 cups worth. 256 cups. There we go. Nice. Thank you. What's the what's the story here? Why are you attacking another Brahmin thing? Who got attacked? Just about anything. Guns, computers. Evil. Where's the bodies? Did you guys kill anybody? Okay. Hey Marcy. I was thinking if seems to be growing that, well. Maybe you want to go take a walk along the river. I can't. I have too much to do. Oh. Well, maybe I can help. No, you won't do it right. I have to do it myself. Oh, oh sounds like yeah. my wife. Yeah, okay. June, I'm sorry. I I'm just on a wedding right night. Now. No, 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 wedding night. We'll go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like every woman on the wedding night. Anyway, um <laughs> Oh, it's so sad. He just wanted to spend some time with her. She's totally blowing him off. Um, I don't mind. The, I, it depends who I'm talking to. Like, I mean, why? I don't want to be sarcastic to a trader. Like, you know, I need them. Um, oh my God, she he shaved. Yes, blah, blah, blah. did you only notice now that I shaved? Have you have you not seen this the whole time? <laughs> I had to. Yes, it's um something I had to do. Um. Okay, so let's actually put everything away we have here. So eight, yeah, let's put all that stuff away. Uh, the grilled cockroaches, the guano stick we keep. We keep the food, basically. Uh, melons. We get rid of that. The hound meat, um, mood foods, definitely. Mud chops we keep. Psycho purified water we're going to put somewhere else. Um, right away, rat scope your meat. Anything that has rats, we throw away in there. Um, ribeye stick, very good. Yeah, one right away we can put away. 
Well, I, yeah, you look longer without the beard. Yes. Um, you can also see my 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 triple necks like more now. See now I can't hide the fat. <laughs> uh, potatoes and that's it, I think. Yeah, give me give me some more stim packs here. Stim packs, stim packs. Ah, oh, no, not all of them. I only wanted ten, so twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, Kona, how are you? I was playing Fallout Four at the same time until the game crashed when I got to the Boston area. Be careful. Well, I hope that um, the. I hope that. Um, this the unofficial patch will prevent most of these crashes and stuff like that i i hope so let's put the purified water in here yeah we don't need all of that but we're gonna take out i would say actually we don't need any purified water because we have so much other food to heal ourselves so i'm actually fine i might actually take some with me to sell it's always good to to have actually yeah let's take that to sell and um, there's other stuff in here I need to put in here, actually. Um, weapons. No, we, we leave those. The pipe pistol, the automatics, because we want to get scrapper and then we're going to scrap all these for, for better parts. Keep the laser rifle, though. Um, thank you very much for the super chat, corner. Um I had to get the dirt off my face. No, no, no. I had to face. I, I had. I had to shave. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, get into that another time. Um, but um, I have to. I have to be shaved for a couple of months. Um, I don't want to really talk about it right now. Um, but yeah, no. If you if you keep an eye out on Discord and stuff like that, and on the community page, they will. Uh, I will be talking about it. Uh, in a few months. Um or in a few weeks depending if it's going to impact my 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 youtube or not uh, for a while so it could be that for for a couple of weeks i might not be able to stream so but we 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 we'll take we take it i talk about it when it gets there and it, uh, i need to tell people anything specific but in a couple of months i should be back to uh, having my beard and everything is fine uh, it's probably a hardware issue yes uh, sorry hi everyone really enjoying your stream thank you so much dennis uh, paul dennis this game still has some junk. The best uh, save pretty often. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. Uh, save stability mod along with the unofficial Fallout 4 is absolutely necessary for vanilla. Um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at that um, for, for uh, saving. They put a little too much in one zone. And when you build all three zones in the Triangle of Death. Oh, I heard about that as well. It's the... There's an outpost you can... Um, you can, uh, like on a coast or something, you have a base, and that can actually cause problems with the game as well. Um, sorry, we have the apparels as well that I want to get rid of. Um, oh, yeah, let me actually, before I get rid of the apparels, let me look at my apparels and see what is better for me to wear. Um, what anti-crash mod would you recommend? I, I don't have an anti-crash mod, but um, on PC, we have the unofficial patch, which literally tries to fix as many bugs and crashes and issues with the game as possible and that's the one i think that is a must have um i don't know on console what the story is so i have no idea bethesda exactly yeah um so let's see we have the helmet which is actually better than what i'm wearing right now well kind of you see i like the radiation protection of the helmet so i'm gonna say it's 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 an easy sacrifice. But when it comes to... Yeah, look at that. So we definitely have the left arm and the right arm. Left and right arm. And then if we look at the umpire parts, that's the chest. Oh, our chest is 15 and 7. 15 and 10. Seven, that's actually not bad. Going down from 15 to 10, but going up to 15 on the damage resist. That's actually really good. And then, how are we on the legs? Um, so the left leg is 5-5. Five, five. 
Oh, we don't have any DC legs. Okay. Okay. So they were 5-5 five, five in these 10-5. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. That is really good gear. That is it's really good gear. Okay, so let's put the rest of the gear away until we get scrapper so that we get everything we need from it. Um, apparel. Let's put all that away. Put that away. That away. That, 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 that. Okay, good. I like it. Um, yeah, so basically this is what I have loaded here for hopefully fixing all the bugs. So this is called the unofficial patch um, U44P, the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. Uh, it's to eventually fix every single bug with Fallout 4, not officially resolved by the developers uh, to the limits of, creation, of the creation kit and community developed tools in one easy to install package. So you see here hundreds of gameplay quests, NPCs, objects, um, no unsafe changes such as deletion of objects created by the authors of the unofficial Skyrim patch uh, designed to be completed compatible with as many other mods as possible. So you can, I suppose, Google it. They have a website as well, I, I guess, where you can see what they actually changed and get more information there. But you can see here all the things with the um, DLCs, I guess. I don't know if it actually fixes some of the stuff in DLCs as well. I have no idea. So, but yeah, this is the only mod that I would probably run uh, plain vanilla. Um, if if you have an issue with memory, um, I have seen in some games. Um, I actually I played an older game recently, and that had a four gigabyte memory limit, so it kept crashing every time you wanted to play it um, on a with modern textures or something, yeah, which was built in in the settings. So uh, what somebody do, did then is they basically, um, if you if you program, you understand what I'm talking about. But if you understand it, so you, what you basically do is they they use uh, some tools that basically decompile the executable, yeah, and then uh, wherever the, uh, the 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 code assigns the memory, they basically just increase the memory, yeah, and they're saying um, actually use 16 gigabyte of memory or whatever, yeah. And then they recompile that executable, so they change ever so slightly what the what the game does by by doing that. And that way, then when uh, you replace the executable, you now have a game that uses 16 gigabyte of memory instead of four. And um, so there is ways of getting around it, but you would have to, if you want to do it yourself, you have to know exactly what you're doing, and otherwise you have to trust the source you're downloading the executable from. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to play the new Arc update. Arc is so, uh, even on GeForce Now, uh, sorry, on yeah, on GeForce Now with the 4080, it's so frustrating to play with the mods constantly resetting because I like to have quality of life mods with Arc and I have to apply them every single time I load and it keeps crashing with certain RTX settings. It's, it's a really unstable mess, um, you know, so and I, my personal computer can't uh, play it like, you know, so in the moment you install the wrong stuff you say bye bye to your xbox yeah exactly so but yeah these executable hacks they have been around forever since pc gaming started you know so and i i remember doing some of that stuff myself back Most in the days like where it was easier things. you know you just I wanted to change some together. colors of something or something you know but anyway um let me go and we put everything away. We're down to 110. Why we're we still so heavy though? It's the food, isn't it? I don't think we need to bring all the food. Yeah, so we leave the we keep that, but we have like something like oh yeah, I still have 50 purified water. Of course, that's heavy. That's 25 alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's for selling to um vendors. So let's go back to Diamond City. And look at the weapon you were talking about. And then we can also sell some purified water. Oh yeah, Kona, don't be putting hockey things onto the onto your console ever. But these mods, these uh, these patch mods, if you have them available as well, 
Um, then they, 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 are, they should be absolutely fine. I mean... Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Oh, the paper already came out. Your age, huh? That is awesome. The paper already came out. Where can I sit down here for a second? And uh, is there a chair here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Tell me a joke. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, T wait. So now it's 4 a.m. So five, six, and I would say three hours should be fine. And I'm I'm guessing the weapons vendor is open now. So where's the actual weapon vendor you were talking about? For, um, oh here, weaponry. So let's talk to the lady here first. Where is she? Oh, they're still not open. Seriously? That like, when do they start person? work? It's like 10 a.m. nearly. Damn. Oh, well, okay. It's, it's nearly 8, but... Wow. There we go. Myrna, I may sell just about everything, but none of it is scrap. Okay, I'll let's have a look. look. Sure. Odds and ends. Um, you have 254, so I'm going to give you some of my water, first of all. Um, 254. Okay, and now I'm going to check out your weapons. So what were you saying about the shotgun? So this is an auto pistol, laser pistol, sniper rifle. Oh, sh yeah, but that's a short combat shotgun. Oh, shit, the damage. I, I was like, I looked only at the short and I was like, yeah, I have a shotgun. Yeah, I have a similar shotgun. Let me see. Mine is a double barrel shotgun, but a combat shotgun means it's more ammunition, isn't it? Yeah. I've, oh, only 226. Are you kidding me? Okay. And let me get some ammunition for that bad boy. And we're going to buy all the fusion cells as well if we can. And what I'm going to do then is sell you the rest of my water. And that should kind of even us out nearly. Mm. Okay, 498 minus 498. So, yeah, I'm going to give you back some of that um, ammunition. The fusion cells, yeah. Yeah, I give you back the fusion cells. <sighs> yeah, we keep them. Yeah, we keep them. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Thank you. Holy crap. So I didn't even see that. Let me get my inventory. So thank you for letting me know about that. So we have the uh, short combat shotgun. Um, favorite. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is amazing looking. We're still going to have to update that baby. Oh, is there, there's a weapons workbench here, isn't there? Uh, uh, well, sorry. Let me. Let me, I have to go home for that. That way, we have all the resources, and we have to see now how bad, how how much we can upgrade this bad boy. Um, Discord. Yeah, it's um. Oh crap! If you put in the Discord command, that should work. Hang on. Um. 
Sim Settlements. Yeah, that's the only other mod I would play, but um, I didn't want to do that now because this is the, the mistake I made before. When I started the game the first time as a proper playthrough that I wanted to play, I started with Sim Settlement, you know, um, all the other building mods, um, NPC mods, all that stuff. And in the end, I actually could, did not even know what was base game and what was mod. So it was just not as good of an experience, I've heard of really. Settlement that's in trouble. I'll mark it on your map. <laughs> this is the meme, isn't it? So see what you can do to help. There's a settlement in trouble, isn't it? That is, is, is that's the Preston meme. <laughs> There's a settlement in trouble. There's a settlement in trouble. Yes, Preston. There is a settlement in trouble. Indeed, there is. <laughs> Okay, so weapon workbench. What are you building? So if we basically put everything back to standard here, yeah, on our current one. Yeah, that's just, that's just standard now. Yeah, short double barrel shotgun. So now is the combat shotgun. Let me see, I can probably, oh, it's actually separate. So, oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so Sim, Sim Settlement 2 um, has like a whole quest system for us to work on our um, you ain't been up to see Gregor, settlement. You should go. Now, whole place is run if you robots. never played the game before, like through, so I played the game a few times before, I just never played really through the story. I always got to kind of where I'm getting now and then I kind of got bored because I had too many mods or I played survival and ruined the whole experience for me the first time. So this time I'm gonna, as long as there's interest, I'm gonna continue playing through it. For trouble, but I is hope. there much point when you finish with the main story to then work on the settlement? Or at what point would you then recommend adding Sim Settlement and say, yeah, let's play with that? I mean, maybe, okay, in this specific scenario, I might wait until they did the update and until Sim Settlement 2 has been updated for the new work. update if there's any changes required. Another but changes. ignoring all that, when would you say for somebody who hasn't played through the story before, would you add what Sim you Settlement 2? Uh, games, if you ever get the chance to play Sim Settlement 2, play it. It's a massive mod for Fallout 2. Yeah, I had all that installed before with Survival Mod, and I just it ruined it because I didn't really play the game before. But I would, I want to play it. It looks really good. So, like I said, once you go through the entire vanilla, you recommend to play it. Yeah, it would actually be a nice. Uh, it would give you a reason to play the game again, I guess. Uh, check out all the factions in the quest. Yeah, so I'm trying to stay away from any game-changing mods except for the bug fixes as much as possible. So let's see. We have the standard receiver, <coughs> the light receiver. It's quite a range there with 47. So this one here, oh wow. Hardened receiver does 78 damage. 94 damage for powerful receiver. Actually, gun nut 2. Let me see if I can get gun nut 2 now. We have a point. Oh, we need to be level 13. We're only level 11. Okay. So let's see, when can we get scrapper? Scrapper is here. We need, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this now. End of story. I don't care. And then we got level 12 is gonna be another point in end. Level 13 is gonna be then um, Scrapper, and then we're gonna go Gun Nut 2. End of story. Let's get it done. You know, maybe we even find something that gives us more charisma. Oh, actually, we can have a suit on that gives us more intellect and then does that work if i put a suit on that gives me plus one intellect does that mean i can then unlock scrapper oh i put all the weapon mods in the in the workbench yeah yeah absolutely um did you get the baby book in your house um that was the one that gives you um i got a book in the house yeah I, we picked up something under the bed i think it was. And so let me see. So combat shotgun, standard receiver. We can go to. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hardened receiver. 
Um, just remember that it's split up into three separate mods. Sim Settlements 2, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. Yeah, I saw Chapter 3 and I was like, oh, the last time I checked this out was many years ago. It only had Settlements 2. So I'm assuming you install just Settlements 2, play through it, and then you do Chapter 2, and, and then play through that, and then install Chapter 3, I guess. That's how you would do it, yeah? It's basically a set of quests that you follow that uh, uh, give you a reason to build up your settlements, you know, so you don't, it's, I suppose it's very handy for people who don't know what they really, you know, if you're a bit like me, you have great ideas for set for base building, but you don't really know how to functionally create something. And it kind of helps you along the way a little bit. So we have the long barrel, which, oh, increases the range and the accuracy, dude. Nice. Now the stock. What happens when we do stock changes? We need... Oh, wow. Okay, that's more for accuracy, really. Okay. Then we have the you standard magazine, run the medium goons. magazine, and Isn't the quick eject something? magazine. The drum magazine would be amazing. Superior reload speed. Better ammo capacity, reduced reload speed. Yeah, you want the medium quick eject mark. Huh? Exceptional ammo capacity to improve reload. Oh, man. See, this one is only reload speed. So, yeah, we have to see how slow reloading is first before I touch that. Standard side. Um, glow side? I would say glow side is best, isn't it, really? Um, hey, easy living. This ain't. Yeah, I don't want a short scope. Uh, oh, reflex side dot. That sounds interesting. Forty nine accuracy. Okay. Why not? Let's see what that looks like. Um, large bayonet doesn't do anything for me. It just reduces my range. A suppressor would be nice, I guess, but a shotgun with a suppressor is like, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so let's have a quick look with our shotgun. Yeah, that dot is nice. I like that. I can fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. So let me see reload. That is super fast. So for that reason, I probably would go for higher ammunition. No, not stock. Medium, yeah. Reduced, oh, reduced reload speed. Superior reload speed. Inferior reload speed. So what you really want is medium quick eject. You know what? We leave it alone. And, and when we have gun nut 2, we get better ammo capacity and reload speed. And that will be a good upgrade then. Until then, we're just going to keep this one like that. Okay. Good. That is an awesome upgrade. Thank you so much for letting me know about this weapon and go back. Because I just written it off as a standard shotgun. I was like, yeah, yeah it's a standard shotgun. Nobody cares. That is awesome. Oh yeah, let's make sure that we didn't get any more water in here while we were here. Yeah, purified water, that is. Always make sure we take it out because, um, eh, how much do we have here, 34? Yeah, I'm gonna sell that, what I have on me again, so that's fine. Um, huh? Or, you know what, let's leave it, let's put it here. And purified water, yeah, put it all here. Because we need it for some crafting at some point anyway. All right, let's save. And now off we go to Good Neighbor to find Nick Valentine. Or, let me see, should we... There's a couple of sites we have. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, Preston's one. The, he, he's going to complain about everything anyway. Follow the Freedom Trail. What was that about? Where was that? 
Oh, that was over there. Should we head up here and do... Um, where's the police station? Where's the police station? Is it further down? Where was the police station? So there's the water treatment plant as well, which is here. Yeah, you know what? Let's go do the Benton Brewery, which is an instance, and then we're going to hop down here to investigate the water treatment plant. Or was that one of Preston's quests? I don't want to do really quest Preston's quests. Um... Where's the cops? The cops have disappeared. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do troubled waters. Okay. Um Yeah, the we have to get the radio signal back. Yeah, let's head here, do that first. Uh, just so you know, if you have a level 2 of Sniper and have a scope on the shotgun, every pellet has a chance to knock enemies down. That is amazing. Oh, the mods. Yeah. I I, I, I forgot about that. Ah, we, we, we're very low on weight, so it's okay. And we only had 91 weight, um, so we should be okay. But yeah, I, I will uh, drop the mods off. So let's go. Let's check the brewery out. I have no idea what's in here. Like, there's no quest or anything. We just found this building. So I just want to have a skim through it and see. A little adventure. So I'm going to conserve some ammunition first and see if we can keep our... Oh, there's somebody getting up. Oh, man. Please don't be ferals again. <laughs> Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. Who's there? They're cooking up. Uh, they're cooking up the drugs here. Get a grip on yourself. What? I don't know if these bottles are worth something, but who knows? Nothing. At least it sure as hell looks that way. Hey. Did you see that? Close range miss. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Charlie. Come here. Who's throwing what? Where'd the little bitch go? I see you. Come on. Bastard. And that's the bad boy down. Awesome. Stim pack. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick up the normal armor armor actually, only when they have special names on them or something. The same as the guns.
What do we have here? That's an exit. Yeah. No. Three sixty no scope. Yeah, we have to go over to the boss. Uh, I'm assuming that was the boss of the brewery. Nice. Um, that's the longest pistol I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, maybe not. I've seen a revolver with six-inch barrel. Yeah, revolvers have sometimes ridiculous long barrels. It's crazy. Okay, let's check out the terminal here. Q1 data. Oh, data corrupted. Okay, Q2 data. Corrupted. Q3. Corrupted. Q4. Full year capital spending is now an estimate. Okay, so. Okay. Fine. Um, pick up the glorious roach meat. That's where we started. Tour info. Tour price $25. Complimentary tasting $5. You can buy the beer for $2, but if you want to taste it while we're doing the tour, it's $5. Just, you know. Just so you know. How do we get up to this dude? We go from here to here. Oh, I could have gone actually up from my side. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, sure, let's pick up a clean black suit. Can never hurt. Some ammo here as well. Um, Games, how much longer are you gonna be online for? Um, 15 more minutes only, sorry Kona. Um, thank you so much uh, for all the super chats tonight. Again, you're, you're very um, crazy with <laughs> all the super chats, but I always appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, we had we can go across here. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Um, so we're gonna do this brewery and tactical heavy hunting rifle. Surely that's gonna be something interesting. One of cocktails. Yeah, we're gonna pick that one up because it's special. So when we get scrapper unlocked, it's gonna be nice. Bondage scissors. Whatever you're into, I say. Um, okay, so let me see. The Marksman Powerful Pipe Bolt Action Rifle. That's the one I I have, which is 64 damage. Tactical heart no, sorry. Tactical heavy hunting rifle. So I wonder if I can take the heavy frame off. Reflex side dot. It's actually pretty cool. Um, quick eject mark. Ooh, that's nice. Heavy tactical. What makes it tactical? 
is tactical the base because uh, sorry i suppose what i'm asking is is this a different hunting oh this is a proper hunting rifle this is not a pipe hunting rifle so i should keep that because that's going to be better than what i have here i mean this is a bolt action rifle so this one here could actually be ending up much stronger and better using the same ammunition which is fine but this one uh, could definitely be much better of a sniper rifle uh, in this case hunting rifle yeah okay definitely keep that you okay there good boy We got the brewing recipe. Won't be able to pick this. So with the recipe, with the brewing recipe now, does that mean we can make our own uh, beer? Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta go pick up some dinner. No, Kona, thank you so much for being here. And again, thank you so much for all the support and enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your evening. And tomorrow we're probably gonna be back with more No Man's Sky where I'm still trying to play through that story as well. Um, Okay, so let's see, acts, zero, so look, zero, town is one. Okay, let's see if you have, yep, there we go, reset. So town was one, so maybe move? Mm. So it wasn't the O then. No, town wasn't one, sorry, where was one? Oh, town was one, yeah. So it must have been the T, the W, or the N. The T, the W, or the N. T, W, N. It wasn't the O. The T? I'm thrilled. Yeah. Okay, cruise. Oh, we got a map update for that. That's awesome. Crew's getting restless. Still got plenty of beer, but food's getting low. Send Sparta for a crew out for whatever. Um, closest reserves. Okay, so they went out for food. Oh, we screwed up bad. We tried to storm the stockpile, but Lily Red and the crew were dug in like ticks. Wiped out half our men before we could bolt. Drake and Hook managed to grab a couple of hostages. Maybe we can trade them for a couple of snack cakes. At least now we got a few mouths to feed. Jesus, I'm trying to see the positive jackpot. Lily, it's Lily. I recognize the bitch anyway. Drake brought the hostages from the raid up to my room, and the second I saw her, I knew we were saved. Uh, now Red will have to deal with us unless she prefers getting her sister back in pieces. Never seen so much food. When I told her we had a sister, Red thought I was full of shit. But one letter from little sis cleared things up real quick. Now the crates are pouring in and so are the recruits. At this rate, we'll be able to make a move on Corvega or DB Tech before the year's out. I already cleared out Corvega. How did she get loose? I chained the bitch to the fucking floor. Uh, was still half asleep when she came at me. I thought I was aiming at her leg. Uh, got the... Got to clean this up, do something with the body. Oh my god, he killed her. Oh wow, that is not good. Oh, that is bad, man. Rumor of a fat caravan train drifted in today. Whole crew went to hit it, except it never showed because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. Uh, think she even improved the flavor. Wow, that's one problem solved. But this gang's dead in the water unless the food keeps coming in. Holy shit. Seems somebody took down Jared. Yep, that was me. Much as I hated that it came hungry bastard, he was no pushover. We're gonna need more guns. That was nice. Okay. Bottle cup rounds. Sniper rifle. It's a, it's a pipe sniper rifle, though. Yeah, let me see that, baby. Oh, it's actually using 0.38 ammunition? Oof. Could it ever be as powerful as the other one, though? Because this is a proper sniper rifle. Surely it should be more powerful than that. What's the possible damage improvement here on that sniper rifle? 
Um, so we can get it up to 23 here. Well, 27 if, it, if you turn it into a 0.45 caliber. But with with the 0.38 caliber. So I guess the 0.38 will always always be weaker as the 308. So we can't increase damage with any of that. Can't increase damage with any of that. Yeah, so the damage is gonna be basically suckish. So it's it's the ammo type, I guess, yeah. Oh, there's a magazine. Let me see. What did I miss? Oh, thank you. Hell yeah. Oh, I didn't. I forgot about that. We get uh, extra recipes uh, from these magazines as well because I was wondering where the red dot um, reflex thing came came from. I couldn't build that earlier. Oh, we're just back here. Okay, fair enough. Nothing new. Okay, that was interesting. That was the brewery. So we have the brewery done with Jared. We have, um, sorry, the Covega done. We have the brewery done. Oh, the cigarettes as well. I actually have loads of cigarettes at home. Um, I probably should start carrying them around for selling. I think they're, they're junk that scrap as well, isn't it? All right, how are we doing on inventory? Oof, yeah, let's... Um, Drop the mods off as well. And oh, we got a new member to our settlement as well. Some, somebody new joined. Oh my god, you are fogly. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Oh, the trader is back in town. Nice. Um, cigarettes and water, purified water. Purified water here. No, hasn't refreshed yet. But where do we get the cigarettes from? Hang on a second. Cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. Where are the cigarettes? They are in... Oh, thank you. Um... Misk, where where are the cigarettes? I picked up a lot of cigarettes. Um, where are they? Yeah, tactical heavy hunting rifle. I'm going to have to upgrade that baby and see if we're going to get um, something better. So I, d I don't know where the secrets are. So if I go through the full workshop, where are the cigarettes? C, C, C. Yeah, cigarette cartons. Yeah, so they are junk. You're talking about the cigarette cartons or the cigarettes? Yeah, they're actually worth some money. That's interesting. I need to buy shotgun ammunition and 0.38 ammunition. Huh? Carla, 
Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Let's see what you have. Always happy to make a sale. Oh no, the game crashed. Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. It's probably because of that stupid cow. Carla, you again. Here to trade? Oh, can you go away, you stupid cow? Sure. Let's take a look. You break it, you buy it. Okay, good. Um, so, 0.38, we only... Uh, no, point three eight have enough. I need 0 0.308. So, we should buy all these. And that's it, I guess. There's nothing else here. Shotgun shells. Yes, thank you. And what I'll give you in return... Actually, I can probably give you in return some of this. Okay. Because I don't think I need that many ammunition here. I can give you probably 204 at least of these. Because I keep getting so many of them. Well, they don't weigh anything, I guess. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. We keep it. So let me give you this. And so what? They were how much? Cigarettes? Junk? They're only 19 value. Yeah, we need to get more. Whatever it is, there's a way of raising that price. Um well, at this value, I'd just rather keep them for resources, to be honest. Um, where's the purified water? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a fair trade. Let's go. You don't need the sight to see that you've done real good for these people. Okay, we're now at 113. Yeah, we need to get rid of some stuff. Um, apparel. No, this is all fine. Weapons. There's a rifle. Yeah, we want to do the weapon upgrade. Tactical heavy hunting rifle. So heavy frame. You see reflex started. It's actually already pretty beefy upgraded. Um, powerful receiver. Yeah. 69 damage. A short light barrel. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these range days. Range and uh, range goes up. Biggest town I ever saw. And weight goes down. Make it a long light barrel. Yeah. One. Short stock. Marksman stock makes it a lighter weapon, is it? No. Just more valuable. Superior recoil, I suppose, yeah. It's the recoil, so we need um, more adhesive. Huh? Yeah, we don't. Suppressor is probably the only thing I might would put on, but that's it. Um, and we want a scope. Lost track of how many blisters I got. Okay. So now let's see if I can replace my other one. So this is my current one. And that does 64 damage, but this one here is my new one. Where is it? Quick, powerful sniper rifle. Accuracy is better on this, but that's because it's marksman. We have to upgrade this other one to a marksman, but the range is pretty sweet. Yeah, oh, the recoil is much less, actually. Which is nice. Only five bullets, though. See this one here, look at the recoil. It's actually not that bad, but if we go with this one. 
That is much worse. So, yeah, I think this one is much better, the other one. So, we go with that one and put it here. There we go. Now we can put the other one away. And... What are we on weight now? Less than 100. 104, that's fine. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, good. Let's eat something. Um, actually, let's... Um, no, we don't have that much rot anyway. So let's head down there and go over to investigating the water treatment plant. Xavier, how are you? Good night. Um, thank you for popping in. Ah, uh, what the hell? What the hell? Hang on a second. A legendary feral? What the hell? Uh, what? That is amazing. Quick draw pipe revolver pistol. It costs 25% less action points. 30 damn. Okay, that's an ammunition type I haven't seen yet. I, I don't really have a gun for yet. That is crazy. They just popped out of nowhere. Uh, who are you? What happened to Cakes? <laughs> Fessel, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's only for a couple of months. Two or three months at the most. Three months at the most. Um, yeah, let's head over there. Oh. Why do I have that weapon? Where did that come from? What? Oh, that's a. That looks like the fat man, but that's the laser rifle. I completely forgot about that. That looked like the fat man there for a second. I was like, what? What? what, what? Why do I have that on me? No wonder, no wonder I feel so heavy. Okay, we have to go across here. Mm. But we can't swim across, I guess. Oh, no. This whole camp is full of mutants, I think. Oof, yeah. I forgot about that. Let's actually have a look here quickly. Is that too far away? I don't know. We'll see. It probably is too far away. Um, Family Cloud Gaming, how are you? Um, Fallout 76, uh, I'm probably not going to do it while I'm here playing Fallout 4 because it's too much Fallout then, I think. Um, but, oh shit. Wow, that looked amazing. 
But I definitely want to play it at some point. Yeah, they're all added it now to Cloud Gaming. There is Fallout 76. I don't know. Fallout 76 probably was already on it, but Fallout. Oh, I needed that radio frequency. That's actually another thing I wanted to do. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a big, hefty dog. Ooh, Malone's. No, what is that? Fungus. Telecross. 476 in GFN. And they added all my favorite Tomb Raider games as well. One of my favorite games. What is that? That looks like a big beastie. What is that? Oh, that's just a yellow car. Oh, hey, man. So we're getting close to the camp now. And that's full mutant camp, so... Safe here. Okay, he's too far away. Genie, Maki came fully equipped with a mini nuke. Oh shit. Beefy beef. Um, give us some extra uh, AP as well. Very nice. Second, who is shooting here at me from where? Oh, 
Oh, there he is. I couldn't. I didn't even see him. Oh, let's actually see if we can with the sniper rifle. Not bad. There's the other one. Okay. Oh, I thought we had him. There we go. You sure? Okay. No! You drink the dirty water, you whore. You whore. Oh, Maxman had an automatic pipe rifle. Nice. Oh shit. Luckily it didn't hit me. There was a minigun, I think, yeah. Um weapons. Oh, missile launcher, that's what it was, missile launcher. Hmm, elevator isn't functioning, okay. Let's head over here and see if we have a switch. Actually, let's go here first. Super Mutant Platelet Helmet. Nice. Let me see how that bladed helmet looks. Uh, it only does. F it only has four damage. Suspenders and slacks. Love it. Fight everybody in the wasteland and suspenders and slacks. That could be a playthrough all by itself. And the only weapon you're allowed to use is slapping people. That's all you're allowed to do. Turn the radio off. Just slap, slap. You know you've been playing Fallout 4 too long when you're in seven days pushing Q to target. Yes, absolutely. I can so absolutely hear that. That is... Okay, we have to head over here. Okay, we gotta give it a save, a save though, because this is gonna be a toughie. I lost my appetite for seventy six when it first came out, and will not go back. Uh, yeah, it, it it was a bit of a um, like I the the main release I always was very very disappointed in because Bethesda had enough money to not do what they did. They they have enough they had enough talent, money and time to do to not do at all what they ended up doing. Like they could have done it so much better. Um 
Memo West Media Event. Um, okay, that's like some stuff about the past. Map updated, nice. I love it when we get, when we do things like that and we get a map update. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad game, and I played it. Um, I try. I play. I. I Angespielt. What, what, are, what is the English version of saying Angespielt? Uh, um, I, I, I would have <laughs> Fallout 76. I have several times Angespielt, um, which means I started playing it several times, uh, did a couple of levels and all that. And then uh, I had fun doing that. But then I just got, you know, because I wasn't streaming it, I just, um, you know, didn't continue really. So it, it, it didn't pull me in, say it like this. Um, it has, it, it feels like playing Fallout, yes. But it didn't. It didn't pull me in. There's nothing there where I felt like, oh yeah, let's get into it, you know. Oh yeah, we're gonna take that outfit. I don't have that yet. And um, a lot of things you you have to team up with other people, I guess as well. But I, you know. Or you should, I guess, for the extra XP and all that, but I usually play by myself, play by myself anyway. Um, can we... Okay. Lock tight. Yeah, let's go to the roof. Uh, uh, what the hell is going on down there? You having a good time there, whatever is jigging about. Yes. Oh, Only expert. Way I can pick this. Damn it. I, I rough, uh, nice stream. Roughly, how old are you? I've been sobbing to uh, to screamers around my age. <laughs> um, what do you think? What do you think? Um, my tired eyes probably give it away. Um, okay, bits. Oh, three bits. T no. <laughs> Um, bids. There we yeah. go. Okay. I take it. Thirty-two. I take it. I take it. Yes, I take it. <laughs> oh my god! I absolutely take that any day. I'm I'm forever twenty-five. Exactly. I I stopped counting after twenty-five. I have a 20 year old daughter and a 15 year old daughter, so I'm not 32. Um, as a reminder, members of the local industry, yeah, okay, that's we already read through that. Safe controls. Uh, disengage lock, yes. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to tell you my exact age. <laughs> I, I, I'm just uh, saying, like, a 20-year-old daughter, I definitely don't have. Uh, I, I definitely didn't have her when I was 18. Um, deactivate lights. Uh, no, leave it on. System diagnostic. Mm, spotlight online. No intruder. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm 25 forever. Oh, nice. It actually opened this up. That is awesome. Rad X, fragmentation, boop, boop, boop. I will be forever immature as well. Okay, let's go back in. You stopped at 40. <laughs> Now, my dog is never in the elevator, but he always gives me a heart, att heart attack downstairs. Lower level. He 
you still have some immense long loading times in the game no not anymore yeah it's much faster locally so even though uh, it must have to really heavily to do with uh, ssds then i guess because i'm using ssd locally for everything i have because i'm still using um windows what, what is it 10 whatever so i have my page file on one ssd drive i have my windows installed on another i have my all my tools and everything installed on a third and i have my games installed on a on a fourth and then i'm when i'm streaming or when i'm recording i'm recording to a western digital hard drive so i have everything separated yeah but um with the m2 things and if you, basically the reason i have the page file on a different drive is um if you don't have enough ram in your pc you can have a lot of ram but some games really suck up the ram um it helps to have the page file on a separate drive but the next computer i plan on getting uh, will have 96 gigabyte of ram and i will never ever need to worry about shit like that ever again so yeah, uh, uh, the, oh, this is, I, I don't have that IT knowledge. I just read that somewhere, so I don't really know it myself. I'm more a software guy, you know, so I write code. I don't understand a lot of the networking stuff or the internals of a PC too much, but um, that's just something I read, that whenever you reach the limit of your RAM, it starts swapping to your page file or something, and that's why it's important to have, give that as much space and speed as possible. Um that's the one we already read several times. So what's the other one? Operation budget. Yeah, that's just the same difference. Okay, there's nothing interesting here. Oh, okay, good guess. That's it. Oh, yes. Nice. Turpentine, baby. Oh, okay. So this is a whole station to craft. Sorry, it's nothing to loot. Um, does the high-resolution DLC make a difference? I haven't played since PS4. It doesn't make any difference because it makes the game even more unstable. Better use a mod for it. Better textures. Yeah, I'm using the texture DLC. I don't know if I can see a difference. I haven't actually tried without it. Um, so, but I'm only playing 1080p, so I don't even know if it benefits me. So, because I'm pretty sure these texture packs usually get added for 2K at least or something. I don't know. Um, I just have it installed because when I started the stream series, I started on GeForce Now and GeForce Now had it installed. So when I was going to continue locally, it said, oh, you're missing a DLC. Do you want to continue? And I was like, oh shit, I better install it. just the lights yeah Oh, there's a magazine. More picket fences. I see it. Facility log. Ah, yeah. We don't need too much. The turret control is what we care about. See, in a way, I like them active because they give you good resources. And when they're deactivated, you don't really find them. And you don't get the resources there because you miss them. There we go.
Oh, the magazine. I talked about it and then I forgot to pick it up. Hell yeah. Go. Um, how hard is the restraint from looting everything for you in this game? Very, very difficult, yeah, for me. But I, I think what keeps it in check and what keeps it in control is the ability to mark things that you actually need, yeah? Because the reason I pick up everything usually is because I don't know what I need. But once you start um, marking things where you say tag for search, acid, for example, adhesive, things that I don't find a lot of, circuitry now cloth i haven't tagged but whatever so i usually only ta uh, 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 pick up what i tag but every now and then what i have to do is i actually have to go back to my base and then get a good look at how many resources i have of something oh, the button isn't functioning oh okay and then I uh, untag some things. So that way I can ignore very happily things because I'm like, I know for a fact that, oh yeah, if it's not tagged, I don't need it. Why does that not work, that door button? Is there something on the computer I forgot? Can we unlock the door here somehow? No, there's nothing there. Turret control. System diagnostic. Okay, so is it that we need the turrets online for the door to open? Is that what it is? Oh. There's nothing we can do here, so... Okay. Oh, you start in the other room. I thought that was all the rooms that there were. Oh, I can go downstairs, actually, there. Hang on. Um, fair enough. Oh, do we find the mollusks here or whatever they're called? Operating instructions. Um, this place has been equipped with Mark for emergency floating pump. Okay. Active. Okay. Uh, I really like New New Vegas, but it's it just it, it it does it it has aged for sure. Um. Let me see first upstairs now if the other door is open. Just want to see what's here. Oh, white mining helmet, might as well. Just in case we want to cosplay as a miner with a white mining helmet. Ah, same difference. Okay.
up all the goodies. Go back here for a second. And go into the other room first. Don't think I can pick this. Damn it. Did we level up again or something? Can we check? No. Um, still a flashlight on the pit boy. Yeah, I have one. Yeah, it's it's not really dark though, is it? Uh, holy balls, kick shaved. Yes. No, not my balls. Thank you. Only my face balls. Oh jeez, that's just my dog. Holy crap. <sighs> that combat shotgun, Jesus, that is the best thing ever. I still can't believe I completely overlooked it. And, um... Shit, I'm lost now. I completely overlooked it. We have to go down to the next. Yeah. So why don't we just do this? And we just go this way. There we go. And we can eat. Oh no! How are you doing, buddy? You're being gross, man. You're being gross. Let's loot these guys. Oh, we're gonna have to swim through this dirt, don't we?
Okay, and uh, tackle and pipe pistol. Mm, yeah, we don't need ma many more pipe stuff. Okay, good. You gonna get the squirt string in that water? Yeah, absolutely. That's terrible water. Nice. That's the elevator that didn't work earlier. So we cleared this now officially. Nice. Okay, so the, the quest Troubled Waters returned to Supervisor White, which was over here in the Grey Gardens. Brilliant. Oh, that's where I got the quest from. I completely forgot. Uh, there is an update on the 26th. Now, as far as I was told, um, from what I understand, it's only a, a visual makeover. As in performance fixes, um, I suppose. I don't know if they're going to update the graphics or anything. I haven't read actually myself about it. All I know is that... All I know is that uh, what people told me so far, uh, performance and an extra uh, quest f for in, the, in their shop, whatever it's called. Where's Mr. Green? Yeah, hey, there we go. Howdy. So good to see you. What do you have for me, Mr. Green? Come on, talk to me. Supervisor Green? Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. So let me see what you got on ammo. Oh, okay. Well, I have loads of those, so I don't actually need any from you. But what I can do is... You see, these guys sell a lot of... Um, these type of things which is which is like i i think a full bag full of resources i don't really know let's see um Yeah, there isn't really much it ha he has otherwise. Okay, corn. Let's loot all this again. Definitely loot the corn. Excellent. Catch the new fruits. That's the way. Darling, so good to see you. Okay. Supervisor White. Darling, so good to see you. You fixed our water problem, didn't you? I did indeed. Why does it matter so much to you? For a place like this, water is everything to us, dear. You deserve something for all your hard work. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now, I simply must get back to work. Oh, nice. We got some corn. We got some... Yeah, okay. And I can now use the workshop here? That's awesome. Where's the workshop, actually? All the loot now is also lootable, so it's not stealing anymore, which is great. Dishwack, here it is, yeah. Do you have, oh, look at stuff you have in here. Holy crap, dude, I take it all. Nice. Okay. Oof, awesome, and I'm overweight. Doggy, hey. come here, come here. There we go. Missile launcher. Can you take that missile launcher off me? Thank you. Um, sure. And now we're going to go home. 
Mm, after we... Oh, Mr. Handy Fuel, Blowtorch, Gas Canister, no more Mr. Handy Fuel, nice. Hey. Uh, hunting rifles. Yes, thank you. Okay, now we can fast travel again and let's go. Oh, that's the other one. Federal R Russian stockpile. We should check that out at some point as well. These things are really cool. I hope you guys don't mind me doing the... Um, like, uh, doing these side things. We don't need to them. We could theoretically just continue on the on the main quest to sanctuary and all that but this is actually a lot of fun uh, and the side characters that we meet like uh, uh white green and brown they're, they're actually pretty funny and um, the tower we should go actually do the tower as well because i think we saved the guy or something from one of the mutants and we get a cool weapon there as well i think Yeah, it's green will give us a discount now as well. Yeah, Sunny, how are you? So let's um, transfer workshop. Um, yeah, let's transfer everything else. Um, the eight stuff, the corn, the di no, dirty water, no, because otherwise I'm not getting any um, water. Let me see. Yes, purified water has come in. Brilliant. Uh, lady snacks, gourd, cockroaches, grilled cockroach. That's different. That's good. Um, the ale, we can get rid of the pilsners. All the stouts. The blood. One of those. This one, definitely get rid of that. So if we want to clear this again, yeah, how many days, in-game days, does it take for that to reset? So say, for example, I want to farm this... Um, meat yeah that we got the the moloch meal meat whatever it's called the my the the myelurk meat yeah say i want to farm this so i would go back there and would want to clear the the water plant again the treatment plant um would that eventually reset or is it gone forever now Actually, we definitely have to take a ride away. That quick draw pipe revolver. Can we upgrade that further? Costs twenty five percent less action points. That's really good. But we don't have enough ammo for that, so I'm gonna actually leave this here for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that board I'm gonna destroy. Yeah, we need to heal ourselves. Inventory right away. And there we go. Yeah, we need to um, get leader two so Don't that we care. can um, get the shopping stands because I think once we get the shopping stands, we can buy ammunition from the stand directly. So if we get local leader two, um, So local leader two requires it to be level 14. Uh, you can build stores and workstations at workshop settlements. So that means one of the shops, I think, is an ammunition store, which is very handy. Neighbor, that place is nothing but trouble. Let me put the purified water away.
Oh, dog meat. Yes, I have to empty dog meat. Good shout. Good shout. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. I keep forgetting about dog meat every single time. Why is this so heavy now? Why am I still so heavy? Oh, the dirty water. 99. Yeah, it's about... I should be at around this weight. Oh, the board as well. Dog meat, come Heads here. Heads up. I've heard of another settlement come that's here. in trouble. I'll mark it on your map. Heads up. Wait there. Oh my god, he literally is like that. That is unbelievable. Like, uh, there's another settlement in trouble. There's another settlement in trouble. <laughs> oh, Vats in Seven Days to Die would be amazing. It would get very hectic, though, when you have Horde Night. Can you imagine, like, you would have something you would have something with a magazine that has like uh the 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 like the what is it called you know the gun was the hundred bullets you literally could queue up vats like <laughs> no on all the zombies just head pops bum 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 all the headshots queued up it's 35 days like until stuff respawns and survival mode's 80 days I suppose in a way it's kind of realistic because you think like if something is vacant, it takes a while before people come across it again and decide to make it their home or, you know, use it again. No way. It resets before you, if you go back before it resets. I suppose you would see if it resets or not because I would assume that if it's reset, it doesn't show cleared anymore. Cleared should really be gone that should be the indicator then of yeah you, you, this is now you can do that again like john wick headshots yeah exactly yeah that is crazy um yeah we're gonna have to at some point point build something where we can put all the weapons up that we have Hunting rifle, missile launcher. There we go. What? Okay, so tactical shotgun. What can we do with you? Uh, we're waiting for that other for the next Does round. You think you're safe? You're not. That's how they always get you. That sniper rifle. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. What gave you the idea we're friends? Ooh, better recoil. Nice. Okay. Let me see the recoil change now. Well, it's still just as bad, but um, I guess you can still see in the screen, you know, where every where somebody's running to if you if you miss miss them. Good. Okay, we're down to 90, whatever our weight is again, 96. So we are decent with weight. Um, we have food, we have healing. So the next thing we want to do is... Um, we could take this down, this road down here from Corvega plant. And then do these two areas. Because I don't think any of those is... Um, any of those quests that we get from Preston. So Raider Trouble is, of course, you know, Preston. Yeah. But we don't care about this. So this is, again, Troubles with the with the Settlers. So we don't care. The Freedom Road. Yeah, I don't really know what that is about. That is... Oh, okay. Yeah, follow the Freedom Trail. That is to do with Valentine and uh, Good Neighbors. Yeah, that's fine. And so that and that is kind of going together. Then we have Curtain Call, Investigate Radio Broadcast. 
Okay, that's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So we could do all that as well on the way to Good Neighbor, I guess. That wouldn't make sense. Um, taking point. So I guess that's also one, so one of Preston's um, quests, I guess. Oh no, Minutemen have found a promising site for a new settlement. But it's overrun. That is different. This is when existing settlement has problems, I think. Yeah, Preston Gavi has asked me to travel to Kreenstorp to see what I can do to help them. So this is important. So I think what we should do is do um, this here. And fire supporters, the police, and... Yeah, what is the... What is this then? Where does that come from? Federal ration stockpile? Okay, let's put a marker there. But yeah, if we do this here next, that would be great. And then we can start going towards um, Good Neighbor and do all the quests along the way to Good Neighbor, which would make a lot more sense. And at some point, we should probably then sit down and see what we want to do with our settlements because we have so many places we can build. Um, it would be good to start looking into what we can do. And there's so much more. Oh, there's Warwick Holmes. I don't know how this came up, but that... Oh, that was probably one of the locations we unlocked when we read the terminal in the brewery. I think that's where Warwick Homestead came from. So that's kind of connected to the brewery um that we cleared out i think yeah so do that and then we're gonna head down there and where's the police broadcast again location and let me see what that is that is this show on map oh that's actually near college squares okay so we do this and then we do the police stuff in college square because that gets us introduced to the brotherhood of steel and that will start a whole set of, of quest lines as well. So if the quest lines are all here in this area, we might do them before we move to Good Neighbor. Yeah, we do that. Anyway, um, have I watched the Fallout TV show? I'm on episode 5. I'm just starting episode 5. Yeah, so we're going to start the Brotherhood of Quest Steel line probably in the next stream uh, after we clear out here because I think... It will open up more quests in, in this area here, and then we can do any Brotherhood of Steel quest alongside the main story quest, anything that's in this area here. Um, or it might actually bring us further out um, into this area again. We'll see. Oh, I haven't discovered this place. That's Oh, yeah, that's one of the settlement things. Anyway, yeah, we know what we have to do, so I think it's going to be Brotherhood of Steel next time, um, just to get the introduction quest. I think it's Paladin or whatever he's called. Um, you know, Knight Paladin or Paladin instead of Knight. I don't know, but we'll see. And um, yeah. Oh, look, we can actually put supply lines for all of these in there as well. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it here. Listen, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you could leave a like on the way out, that would be very much appreciated. And again, everybody, thank you so much for the support, for the likes, um, you know, for the, like, if you sharing it or whatever, that's always appreciated. And Kona and Bombardant, thank you very much for all the super chats and um, for the g4k apprentice membership um thank you so much again for all the support and i see you guys tomorrow with if everything goes well with no man's sky and then we're going to go back to fallout uh, on the day after but we'll see if any games get released tomorrow that i might do a one-off on uh, instead but uh, we take it one day at a time so thank you very much have a good night stay safe bye bye